first day of school or something? Something is <laughs> awkward, bro. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> it's awkward. So we took a little break. I've been fighting for my life for a break, and then they let us have it. And now it's very awkward because <laughs> everyone forgot how to pop. Because nobody knows how to do this shit <laughs> That's anymore. Not true. We gave Savon the signal. We have like a little pre production planning, and we're like, Savon, okay, you come in first with your topic, and he's just staring at us. Oh, nah. Because <laughs> I didn't want to just come out with the topic. Like, I didn't want to just shove it in. But we you planned gotta it. You got to ease that thing. You got to oil that thing down. Oh, you was ready to You ever get that thing all down? Yeah, well, we gave him the That's okay. what you was doing on the time. You, you seen that shit? That's what you was doing you, on the time. Well, have you seen that clip, though? Nah. What's well, what? you got to get the thing oiled down. What's that? You never seen the crypt? Oh my god, the clip. Savon's algorithm is nuts. Yeah, bro. I, I don't know what you the fuck you talking about. You never seen the, the, the. Oh shit, this nigga missed Pod. Oh, nah. <laughs> I feel like bro, it's a clip. It's a viral clip. Are you trolling me? Of a barber, he was cutting some dude's hair, and he asked his client, "Yo, bro, did you get that thing all down?" And his client looked back like, "Yo, are you talking about the oil change on my car? Like, why you gotta say did I get that thing oiled down? You could have just said I got the oil change. Give me your phone." What you? Why, <laughs> why you, you want my phone? We, we gonna redo your algorithm. Nah, what the fuck wild. are you talking you about? You never seen it. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking? When the last time you got that thing all down? I never got that thing all down. Reggie? Oh wait, you don't got a car right now, right? Wait, so, oh, we're talking about cars. I thought we were talking saying, about what the fuck. Wait, what? Are we what? talking about barbers or cars? <laughs> when you get the oil change, <laughs> oh, you, okay, somebody eat your ass? Wait, what? What? I don't know. Wait, Bro. for some reason, I thought we were talking about haircuts. Know. I don't know. I don't know. The, the barber, whatever. Just just know, <laughs> if somebody ever asks you in the street, and this goes out to all the listeners, yeah. if somebody ever asks you in the street, did you get that thing all down? They're talking about the oil change. Ladies and gentlemen, Why I know. Why would someone I, randomly ask me that in the street, though? Ladies and gentlemen, I know I bump into a lot of y'all in the city when I'm on my way to work. Please. Don't say that. Do not bump into me and say that. Oh, no, I think they should say it because it's a cute little insider with us and the <laughs> listeners. Yeah. Shout out to the listeners that, yo, I forget to tell y'all this. I yeah. waited to pod. Talk I, to me. I literally see a listener or bump into a listener every single day now. During your commute? Yes. Oh wow. my God, that's my fucking Salute worst you. nightmare. Yeah, because you don't know if you're looking Because I look so fly. bad during my commute. Oh but... my God, what kind of fit I got on? Am I looking like the cameras? You know they say the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying what they say. <laughs> Is it male listeners or female listeners that approach Both. You? Both. Both? Yeah, more male really? listeners though. Okay. Yeah, more male right. listeners. Oh my gosh, for me, it's always male listeners. We're, guys, if... We're the baddies. I want to meet you guys in person. <laughs> Word. You want to meet the baddies in person? Yes, I would love to. That listen to the pod. Okay. It's always men listeners, which I love you guys too, but yeah. And you will get a chance to add this year's mixer. Hey, oh my goodness. Hey, let's get yes. it. Honestly, at our mixer, I'm not even like, it's honestly, it seemed like at least last year, it was like a majority women. It felt like that for right? a while. Like, so I feel well, like that's a great thing. I'm going to yeah. confess something and then we can talk about the promo for the mixer. <laughs> I bet. I snuck at least 25 baddies in. Same. Through the back. No. I didn't tell you. We have no problem with that. Ain't no, no I didn't tell y'all that. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck about that. I, I feel like, and we're going to talk about votes and all that, electoral colleges and everything. <laughs> 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 we're going to talk about all that shit a little bit later. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I didn't really have to like cast a vote to bring the baddies through the back. Never that. Never that. So that's why I feel hey, like it was an uh, imbalance. I like when the club leave them niggas outside. Yeah, me too. I like that. That yeah. means there's some baddies in there. Y'all you know wait here. I like that. And let all the girls in. All these I'm into years yeah. of me wondering why I was left outside of your party. Do, 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 oh, you know not what? This shit again. It makes no. sense. See, That's <laughs> all you had to say was, yo, bro, you my man, but I needed the baddies and so you couldn't get in. And I would have understood that instead of yeah. the fire marshal came and he shut my party down. Man. I'm not going to front. Get the fuck out of it. Yo, did you yeah. get that thing all down? Nigga? I'm not going to front. You such a baddie. We brought the party outside to you. All right. Oh, my <laughs> God. August 17th. <laughs> this is going to be lying. <laughs> we brought the party outside nah, to nah, you. Nah. August 17th. The Needs <laughs> No Podcast Mixer is yeah. in full effect. Uh, thank y'all for anybody who's already bought a ticket. Thank you. We cannot wait to see you. But anybody who wants to purchase a ticket, um, they are still available. And your favorite podcasters are going to be in the building. Mm -hmm. Your favorite podcasters are <laughs> us. Uh, but <laughs> just y'all. Uh, and just, friends of the show. For sure. Your, uh, our friends of the show. Oh, my yeah. God. We didn't announce the DJs. Mm. I can't wait. We're going to announce the DJs really, really, oh, really, yes. really fucking soon. One of them may be a little bit obvious. The other one, it could be obvious, but... Yeah. yeah, it could be they, obvious. Know, they don't know that they know. They right. don't. Oh, they sorry, don't the whole time, I just they gave it away. Know they need to know. <laughs> you guys oh, are going to know what that means like, by sure. the end of the week. <laughs> but we're going to have super vibes in the building um, for everybody. Open bar. I know that's always an incentive if you want to travel. A lot of people. Last year, they flew out. Um, some of the listeners flew out from Atlanta. Literally. Texas. LA. Boston. Yeah. Toronto. 
Texas. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, there was this one girl who actually, I don't advise this, but thank you, girl. Like she came alone. She took a road trip to see us and she came alone. From Connecticut. Yes, you remember. Yeah, oh. but she, I remember she came alone. She was like, hi. Like, now we remember that one. But yeah, no, she, we remember was, that she one. was gorgeous. So I'm like, you're going to have no problem making friends, but that's so dangerous. <laughs> we remember. We said, oh my God, but this she, lo- lovely young lady, you came in by yourself? But I will say, dangerous. <laughs> Yes, because of the commute. But once yeah. she got there, it's a safe space with us. I don't know, always, but in a new city always. by yourself as a woman is dangerous. But I'm sure you, it wasn't new to her. You could do it at the Need to Know Mixer because we're all friendly and we'll keep hey, you safe. Absolutely. Yes. And also, if you were following us on Patreon, which you should be because we have posted new episodes for the last couple of weeks now, you can receive a discount code. So, I mean, yes. I mean, wouldn't you want to I sign mean, the up? ticket is already a great deal, in my humble for opinion. Sure, but sure. we will give you a discount code if you subscribe to our Patreon. Or we have a bunch of episodes up there already, more coming. Yeah. It's going to be a very consistent flow if you can't get enough of us on the main pod. Also, I want to mention, ladies, listen, you will get a chance to take a picture with Alex. <laughs> if yeah. you want. Yeah. I mean, he's not Let's lying. clap it up, goddammit. Come on, let's yeah, clap nah. it up. Let's that clap it up for hey. 80 bucks. 80, he going to be there in rare form just for you. Nah, I am going to be in rare form, though. The mixer is probably the ones... I, it's, I probably get lit, lit, like drunk, drunk, mm-hmm. three, four times a year, and the mixer is one of those. You so. don't get drunk nice. at the mixer? No, what? You just don't... Girl, you're I was... Old, you're Reggie, great at hiding it, I then. was faded last year. Were you? I was I could not good. tell. I could and not the one, tell. And the year before that. This is the third, this is the third annual mixer for us. It is. 3P. Yeah, yeah, oh, my God, that's 3P. so crazy. Gang, 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 gang. 3P. Faded. But oh. you know, I... <laughs> I, ch- I, you know, I chase it with some splits, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I have a question. Sorry, this is so, like, irrelevant. But yeah. the first mixer was very hot, like, temperature-wise. If you yeah. guys were there, you guys were real ones for sticking through. But Alex, you were in, like, a flannel. How did you yeah. do that? Uh, getting fly. But, like, you, I don't know how he did that all night. You, you don't see how all them fashion niggas, you be like, yo, what the fuck you got on? And it's just like. I always think that. I'm like, what the fuck you got on? Yeah. They're, they're wearing, like, leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was, damn. He didn't have a bead of sweat on him. No, but that's why I'm asking, Pierre. Like, I'm beat. like. Had some shorts. That's what you do, y'all. You go long sleeve on the top, short uh, short sleeve on the shorts. It was quite a sight to see. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Like oh. My hate for people that don't sweat is massive. <laughs> Absolutely. But I, I agree. My appreciation for knowing that Reggie is a sweater. I'm such a sweater. Like Because I'm a sweater, it too. It is the most yeah, unladylike yeah. thing Same. about me. It like re- I sweat so much. Oh, Pierre's a sweater, too. Oh, My whole shit. shirt was drenched. Yeah, Pierre, tell, like, Pierre, you might oh, be yeah. the biggest sweater. I ain't going to lie. You be sweating nah. mad But shit. I like how Pierre Told embraced it. Like, his... His whole shirt was wet. Yeah. Like, you could see it because he was wearing a light blue color. Yeah, yeah. But he was just, he just embraced it. There comes a point in the party when it, shit is just lit. You just got to indulge in whatever yeah. the situation And people is. understand. He's like, oh, they're like, oh, it's hot in here. But if I sweat and I have mad sweat stains, it's not cute. <laughs> yeah, clean y'all shit up, man. All that perspiring y'all be doing. Calm and, your shit down. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, and like, <laughs> if you find yourself sweating at the mixer, make sure you smell good. So make sure Please. Yeah, I, I, as long as you don't smell, it's fine if you sweat. We all get it. I think at the door, we should hand out deodorant and breath mints. I would love oh, I don't know if that's in the budget. Deodorant. I, I could, I, I'll, I'll fund it personally. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have a mini deodorant in my bag right now. I wish I had it on me. Do you? Yes, it's right there. Yeah. Oh, I shit. keep one in my car too. Yeah. Do y'all yeah. use the spray or like the stick? I use stick. a stick. Old school stick. The spray, I don't know. Like it. It don't work. It go in the air. It doesn't work. It evaporates. I don't into think the it's air. as potent as the bar. I use the mini, the Dove bar, the cucumber one. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend. There's just some things <laughs> I'm willing to just die for. <laughs> And my deodorant and like using the new wave and air fryer and microwave, it's gonna take me out. <laughs> nah, deodorant is gonna take me out I because I, I need a I need <laughs> aluminum deodorant. It's not enough of that aluminum in that spring. I need extra aluminum, <laughs> extra depth. <laughs> I think it's bugging. No, for real, because <laughs> if I don't use deodorant, Dude. oh, the other day we was on a call. I went bowling with my family. Right, right. On that day, on How that awesome. call, I forgot to put on deodorant. Oh. Mind you, Damn. bowling is pretty active. And it was really hot. Those poor lanes. And so <laughs> what I did. Those poor lanes. <laughs> those poor lanes. Everybody was fucked up. But I'm gonna tell you how fucked up I am. So I'm I'm and I was going crazy on my siblings. One of my one of them little oh. niggas is listening right now. Yo, I was going crazy on them. I bowled You're a good one third like I was good that day. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm a always terrible good. terrible bowler. That's why I hate yeah, bowling first dates. I'm trying to get better dates. with that shit. But too. I was going crazy. So I'm using yeah. all my energy. Bah, bah, left hand, right hand. Armpits moving. I didn't moving. even know I could do that. Armpits moving, shaking, in the wind. <laughs> I feel like he's capping a little bit, no, but it's okay. I got the score. Nah, this is impulsive. So I look, got the no, 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 the right hand, left hand. I'm like, that's like Oh, yeah, impossible. I lied on that, but it's all good. <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah, it nah. sounds good. I ain't do the left hand. But <laughs> what I was doing, when I threw my hand in the air, I could get a whiff. You smell your wind. But I'm going to tell you how fucked smell up I am. Wind. I'm going to let y'all know. Huh? It's the need to know. Y'all need to know. It's thank Do we? There was some <laughs> next to me. Oh, we're not going. We're not I had this. to get it all. What you mean you we're had not, to get it all? I let niggas know. That ain't me. 
<laughs> what, you, what the fuck you mean? Nah, this is so racist. It was them. I don't like it. It wasn't them. It was your own But nah, but that's what I told my family. I don't like this. No, for real. No. no. I, but that's what I, it was smelling like. But you was the culprit. <laughs> I know, but I got it all. <laughs> oh, it was you? Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was me. Oh, I thought you were saying like, that they smelled. No, I was like, I was like, it was me. No, that's why I'm like, Savon, this is fucked up. <laughs> nah, that was good. They damn. actually smelled like my cologne. I was like, damn, I thought we switched places. So you blamed it on what? the... Yeah, I hugged my little sister. And she said, damn, you're a little ripe. And I said, nah, that's them. <laughs> oh, my God. Actually you're, smelling your armpit. Your poor sister. Yeah, that's oh, you know, but I had to go get my bag because here's your survival kit. You have, Ladies, mm -hmm. bring a little clutch. You have the mini deodorant, Come on, right? Nice. For the need to know mixer, and then we'll also be giving these out at the door. The little fans. Ooh, Only the baddies everybody. carry that. If I approach a woman and she got that, I know she fucking. That is true. The, only the baddies know the little pink fans. And they all have it. For the YouTube listener, I mean, for yeah. the audio listeners, please tune in. We just gave you the survival kit. For the mixer, please come August 19th. Is it 17th 17, or 19th? 17, oh my God, it was August 19th last year. It was. Yeah, August it was, 17th it was, this yeah. year. Um, And all of that information is in the description below. Yeah. With that being said, I know we dropped two episodes the last two weeks. The first week that we were away on our vacation, we dropped the draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to give a special fuck you to Alex. <laughs> um, during our <laughs> hip hop. What did you say fuck me for? But hold up. You said you wasn't. Yo, y'all, for the people that watched it and tuned in, I, I appreciate and thank y'all. At the top of that episode, Savon looked me in the eyes and said, yeah, hey, I ain't worried about you. I was gassed. I said that I was on taking air? it back. I, I didn't say you that did. on air. It's recorded. Yeah. I, didn't, I said that on you air. Were, it's you recorded. were like, I'm not worried about it. No, I'm not worried about it. But I said that off air, it's bro. Recorded. You're not supposed to take off air problems on air. No, you guys no. definitely had a moment on air where Alex was like, all right, like, you'll see. I thought we see. deleted that. Never that. No, no, Never no, that. No, had to no, stand no. in your decision. The hate was there. I was, yeah. I didn't appreciate that. Yeah, I took that personally. On, it was definitely on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Alex was like, all right, you'll see. Reggie, he did all of that just to get in last place. They, Reggie was smoking your team in the comments. <laughs> no, 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 I will say, I will say, I'm glad we can address this because I don't know if people will yeah. agree unanimously. I feel like unanimously, obviously, it was overwhelmingly Alex. And but that's Alex fine. don't believe what he just yes, did. Yes, I do. Alex don't believe that. Yes, I and that's what it gives me tight. I listen to Tyler Creator. That was a very inauthentic list. That's not an I listen it to, is. But, I listen but, to Kendrick Lamar. I appreciate, like, I respect it. You know why? I'm a bob. High heels on oh, my tippy. I give you that. I will give you that. Oh. Your, first, <laughs> your first three picks, I will give you. Thank you. Your last three picks. Travis? Your last three. No, you like Travis. I'm going to get. All right, I'll give you. I'll give you that. A little Uzi Vert? Your last two picks? Little Uzi Vert? No, I'm not giving you that. I fuck with Uzi. But Sable, I've been fucking with Uzi since SoundCloud era. You know him, you know me with the trendy music. I, I'm so I'm so <laughs> thank you guys for the listeners because we have debated on this with this on camera. But a lot of people did agree that you cheated with the Kanye pick. How is that? How is it cheating? You know if he what? had he watched dropped, the throne, he dropped like four of his main projects in the 2000s, Alex. Y'all, y'all are literally, I don't know, y'all. He did watch the throne in the 2010s. He did my twisted dark fantasy in the 2010s. He did Don Day. He did the life of Pablo in the 2010s. For the sake, what of are y'all talking? About? In the moment, come on, y'all. Wait, but in the moment, Reggie, it sounded felt crazy in the moment. I, no, in the moment, I was on your side. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was a part of the veto with yeah. Reggie. Like we do a. Two, oh yeah, we had a little committee. Yeah, we do a two, yeah, yeah. two to three vote on yeah. the podcast, yeah. and we was the two on the same side. Now right, right. I renege. How you renege? Because you lost? I'm with you, Reggie. <laughs> you can't use that. I do want to say that in the YouTube comments, yeah, you guys yeah. really, 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 really held me down. Like, yeah. I was so shocked about, like, the appreciation yeah. for my picks, like, the currency and Nipsey. Yeah. But then on Twitter and in our community, I feel like people supported me. But on Instagram, people hated my, my list. Like, they were like, what the fuck is this? Okay, so did. it was a good balance. But I'm very happy with the turnout because I said during the draft, I was like, I just, I don't care about winning. I care about finding my people that will appreciate oh, you you did say that. I did. You found and, it. and I really, yo, the top comment on our draft is about currency on YouTube. Oh, I was like, wow. On. Yeah, you, thank you. You said that and you did that. Yeah, go check and that episode out, yo. You know what I, I want to do? I want to like welcome all the sluts. Oh, man, we always want to welcome them. No, for, because all the sluts yeah. love my team. Men, oh women alike. You, they said you had the red pill. Slutty team. And, <laughs> I, and, I, and I love it. I like, because I know for a fact, I know for a fact, in your personal life, <laughs> yeah. on my list, mm. Most people have the most minutes spent mm -hmm. listening to my list. Having Drake and Future on your team definitely uh, aids to what you're saying right now. Super. Mm -hmm. For sure, for Super. sure. Super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and if, if we really being technical. But like, we not. We not? Nah, get technical. Nah, I want to hear your technical list. <laughs> because you was mentioning, and please mark this, you was mentioning fucking... <laughs> when did I mention him? You mentioned him. I never said... 
No, we were, jo- we were joking that he was going to say Thank that. Thank you. Tell oh, him. I projected. Tell your man. You be forgetting. Yeah. He projected. never said he never I said never that. said that. Right. You sat down and said, I ain't scared of you. I said, oh, okay. I <laughs> took that, that person. But is that why you drafted how you drafted? No, I was going to. Bro. You was going to smoke I me regardless? Great yes. choices. <laughs> is that what you was about to say? I, I had no plan. Okay. Right, he had did. a plan. We walked in. And I was scared. I was excited for the episode. Remember? Pre-production, Alex was like, oh, shit, we're actually doing it. I was like, wait. He freestyled that whole thing. I freestyled that whole shit. That's crazy. All right. I write nothing up. Well, if anybody doesn't know what we're talking about, <laughs> two episodes ago, we dropped the hip hop draft. Go check that out. You can yeah, check yeah. the full teams out on our Instagram as well. Make sure y'all follow if y'all over there. And then last week, we did like a, a, a half year mid-year, review, like mid year recap, yeah. all that good shit. But today, yeah. let's get into some of the things we missed. Also, I just want to say on Instagram, well, we got under intro. our draft yeah, uh, post, we have 200 comments. Oh I was like, God. I was so happy for our community. Hello, y'all. Wait, yes. we got an intro, man. You ain't been here so long. We don't forget. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. You What's your name? There's a perfect, t- perfect <laughs> time to do Karen it. Karen is going to kill me. Minutes. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, S-A-V-O. <laughs> And in the building, I don't even know if I like that no more after the break. I love it. Don't hate no, it. Right, but, Come on, I like you it. You have to say it with confidence, say yeah. I didn't say I, I shot at the camera. No, but after you're like, hey, yeah, but you ain't shoot confidently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like the gun could get taken away from you. It might, but it's your boy Savon. <laughs> we here back on the Need to Know podcast. I'm here with my good brother A. What's good, A? Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy A. As always, the Paco Rabone Poppy, never alone, always with the posse. Hi, guys, it's me, Reggie. I feel so blessed to be here. And we're going to talk about what we learned on our time off. I will go first. So I. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm not mad at that, but real quick, before oh, yes, you okay, go, okay. before you go. Yes. I feel like it's disrespectful not to introduce a father. Oh, okay, let's start with that. Let's start with that. Let's and start we don't got to start there. Okay. okay. But okay, I do mind. just want to give my boy some love and some What's up? energy. What's up? Man. Yeah, man. The P stands for pops. pops. <laughs> Big pops. You heard? Big pops. Yeah, I, I just want you to know. Talk to me. I've been listening to Jagged Edge all weekend. I, yeah, I could tell you came in here like you was in love. Like, yeah, and uh, baby, let's get I guess we're gonna break the ice now. Okay. Uh, we attended Pierre's gender reveal this yeah, past bro. weekend, which means he's having a child. Everybody, yes, <laughs> about to have a baby. Come on, clap, clap out there, y'all, clap. Thank you, thank you. Like, you know, this whole time, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm good. Go this, ahead. This get whole your shit time, off. you know, as a as a male, yeah. mo- no, no I, w- I can't say most, but I mm-hmm. thought I was about to have a boy. Because you're a football player. He wanted right? a boy. You work out a lot. Yeah. Because in my mind, it's like, I, you know, I could throw him around on the couch, tackle him a little bit. You, know, you would do that with your daughter? No, you can't. Yeah, Especially if you're the dad. Point. You're her dad. Nah, that's different. Yeah. I got to be like tender and... Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be like 10 I feel like your, your idea, you, you don't have to think like that. You can throw... You can... Round house, what is it called? Like t- tough play? Roundhouse? You want a roundhouse? <laughs> what, what is, what is what the, the fuck? Word? Roundhouse? I think it was roundhouse. Rough, oh, rough, 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 yeah. You, 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 go, you can be rough. And also, fun fact, you yeah. really should be rough. Not rough, but like, you know, like throw them around a little bit. Like yeah. have them up in the air because um, regardless of the gender, because that builds trust and coordination. Mm. So you oh, really should. You can't, like, you can't like coddle them forever, you know? Yeah, you know, I'm the oldest of like seven kids. Right? Yeah. I dropped one of my sisters and I ain't never told nobody. Wait, what age? What age? <laughs> she was like less than two. <gasps> Yo. Yo, that's terrible. She man. went tumbling. I said, oh shit. But I never told nobody that to now, this day. She started tri- tripping out. I'm not gonna tell you which one. Because yeah. I got two. Yo, but I dropped one of them and it's showing. <laughs> Don't say that. Yo, you think, you but think... I love her. I love them all. I love them Yo, all. You think as a as a girl dad, yeah. I'm gonna get soft? Yeah, as you a matter should... of fact, I was gonna say this actually. I I when you told us originally that you were having a child, I knew it was gonna be a girl, bro. I'm yeah. so sorry, bro. I know I'm sorry. I internally something told me he's gonna have a girl. Because uh-huh. you're the football player, you bench 587 pounds, you got all this manly, manly shit with you, right? And yeah, she's gonna make you a little bit more softer, but it, not in a bad way. So I had to. So you're saying I had to even out a little bit. You heard what they said. Uh, what is it? The <laughs> divine feminine, bit. divine masculine. You're gonna be, you know, at one now. Yeah, you, you. I think you needed a girl, and a girl needed you. Okay. Aww. If I'm gonna be honest, mm-hmm. you needed a girl, and a girl needed you. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so when that I because I don't understand. Um, <laughs> he said, he said, Damn. He said, what was y'all seeing? God bless the baby girl. On the <laughs> that way. I wasn't. Also, we Pierre, got a niece on the way. I know. 
I hope this resonates with you, but it, this is all God's plan. Like this yes. is all, yeah, sure. this Absolutely. is really how it's for supposed sure. to play out. Absolutely. So yep. I hope you can find ease in that. I know it's scary because you like, you like really imagine having yeah. a boy, especially like for your first child, but this is what's happening. You know, we got to embrace it. Yeah, you're right. And shout out to your lovely wife, your beautiful wife. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out yes. to her too. You have an amazing down. partner to help you with this, bro. Sure. Sure. I get it though. Capricorn queen. Hey, we some yes. little Capricorns on this podcast. Jackie, good people. Jackie, good Big people. Capricorn. Um, Wait, Simon, what you about to say? Yeah. That's why I need a... Oh no, I, I, need I, I, I think you need a girl because I think you need um and all of us as men for the most part, we all need to develop a little bit more understanding when it comes to women, when it comes to girls. And I know you are the type of man who leads. And I feel like there's a lot like I come across a lot of and I have a lot of friends and a lot of women who are absent of fathers. Mm -hmm. And you no matter what the gender is, I know you're going to be a present father. Oh, yeah. And so that's why I said, you need a girl and a girl needs you. For sure. Because there's a lot of niggas who's having babies and just walking out yeah. and just not really pouring into their daughters. Uh, not just having a daughter, but actually her. pouring into a daughter. I know your character. I know your makeup. And so that's why I said that. That's yeah. love. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is a For great... Sure. I feel like yeah. this is no, great. No, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's a yeah. beautiful thing. You having a daughter is great. And what a like, boy does for most men is just <laughs> extend the time that they can get their bullshit off. Yo, <laughs> honestly, literally, like you'll just you'll just treat him as yeah. like, yeah, it's just an extension of me. Like, and, for, <laughs> and for you, I get it, right? For yeah, a boy, yeah. you're probably like, all right, shouldn't be that hard, yeah. right? I'm just do some play sports with him. Yeah, play some yeah, hair, like, do some sports, yeah. get him a haircut. With the girls, it's like, okay. It's Braiding completely, hair, completely they have different. cycles. I get it, yeah, but yeah, you're, yeah. you're ready for all this. Man. You're ready for all that. You're ready yeah. for all that. The other thing that just yeah. hit me, I got I got three cone stone killers. Cone stone. Stone oh, yeah. cone killers. Cone stone. Cone stone. They so they so much of killers, he can't even get it out. <laughs> it's like me saying you should roundhouse right. your baby. <laughs> nah, Yo, the roundhouse better be a fucking title <laughs> yep. selection, yep. bro. Yep. Please. And yep. and I got three stone cold killers. Alex Reggie Savon. Yeah. And babysitters. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my god, sure I'm, ready. To be I'm about that. I ain't gonna lie because I'm great with kids. Nah, I ain't doing that. Nah, I'm gonna be <laughs> like, no. Wait, hold on, hold I'm on, hold on. Sure, like, Uncle Save All. I'm, yo, I'm gonna spoil like all the like, whatever yeah. you need the gifts, yeah. every I'm, I'm yeah. there. Okay, but the time, the babysitting, <laughs> I'm trying to get her. I'm not gonna okay. lie, man. Nah, let me chill. Nah, nah. Bleep that. Mark that. <laughs> That's not a wild thing to That's say. That's manifestation. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. Niggas was happy he was having a child. I was looking around like, I hope niggas is this happy when I had my. <laughs> of course, they will be. <laughs> nah, some niggas be mad. Some niggas be, some niggas be mad. Yo, Yo. Ready? you ain't never been a wingman. See, he ain't been a wingman for a real long time. Yo. When the wingman have a baby, man. it's a funeral. Man. <laughs> it's like, Gotta damn, hang up your I jersey. lost my. I lo yeah. So yeah, shout out to you, you Pierre. Shout out to your family. Shout Thank out to you, your man. wife. Appreciate, um, appreciate you. Again, just some of the things that transpired as we were out. Right. There's a ton of other things that happened as we were out. Right. Reggie, Reggie you going to get it? Yeah. I know you wanted to get in your bag. Get in your bags. Oh, wait. We can't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah. 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 My fault, bro. I ain't do this in a minute. Calm down. I didn't, bro. I didn't pot in a minute. I forgot you can't get in your bag. Stay in your bag. He says it again. Nah, but why, nigga? You forgot? That That's, was the old cycle. We can't do that in this quarter. That's a good ad lib. We can't do that in this quarter. We can't no, keep no ad libs? Nah. Nah. Not I, that one. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say, oh my God, he throws another problematic ad lib. <laughs> I will say I'm really sad that I can't hear Gotta Move On with Bryson Taylor without hearing mm. that ad lib because I love that song. Yeah. Yeah. But I just have a cute little fun fact. So, you know, did you guys play Super Mario growing up? Oh, of, course. of course. Yeah. By the way, side note, I had a GameCube. I was trying to fucking be different. And I, <laughs> I now I'm rushing Isn't that like the lame one? No, nah, it's not anything. It's, it's one of the ones. GameCube. Like, GameCube was cool. Yeah, GameCube was cool. Oh, I thought that was like the nerdy one. No, nah, that was cool. Nah, I had a little GameCube. small mini disc. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 those are dope. So I'll I play, you know, Mario on that all the time. Yeah. And you know how he said, okay, no, what is Mario's catchphrase? Mario. Does, it's me, Mario. <laughs> he did that nah, song. Nah, that was perfect, bro. You good? Okay, right? You're getting ready for them kids, So huh? Pierre <laughs> said that. It is actually not, it's a me, Mario. Oh, yeah. It's actually. It's Sumi, which is Japanese for like a surname of like just like it's just like a Japanese word, and Nintendo is Japanese, so it's not it's a me Mario. I'm being gaslit. It's, Mario's I, not Italian; he's Japanese. Wow. So he, you know what you sound like right now? What? You you sound like the um the lady from Hello Kitty that said Hello that Kitty is not a cat. Well, are you are you, you know, denying but it got whiskers. Asianness? You ain't you never are. met a Japanese nigga named Mario. Not at all. Oh, Luigi. Not at all. Oh, Wario. Talk. He is not Japanese. That, that is a good. That is cultural talk. appropriation. That was the American form. But Itsumi is a Japanese word. But what it mean? And, and it's a Japanese. What it mean? You know what it mean? I could Google 
call it? Yeah, because that's, 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 that's not her language. I was just about <laughs> to say <laughs> not that's not her language. I was she is obviously Korean. I was not for what Korean said. and Japanese are two different. <laughs> oh, it means superb. <sighs> superb? Mm-hmm. Oh, Super, Super, Super Mario. Super. See? Oh, wow. Super Mario. Wow. I think they're trying to like change history. I think they're doing a social yes. experiment on us. They're definitely Because there's no What's way it called he said, like Mandela it's a effect. me. Mandela effect, right? Mm-hmm. That's what they're trying to do. He said, it's a me. It's a me. Like when the nigga, when you go to a classic <laughs> New Jersey pizzeria yeah. and the nigga is... <laughs> Flipping that thing. <laughs> it's a me, a pizza. That's what you be doing in there? No yeah. one has ever said that. You ain't never been in one pizzeria and that nigga said, it's a me. Facts. You ain't never been in it's one. It's a me, a pizza. <laughs> Who the fuck is saying that? It's a pizza. It's, you, it's a me, a pizza. You ain't never been in one. Yo, oh my God. But it, you know how we like make fun of Italian accents like that? In yeah. Italy, they actually talk like that. They're like, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the menu? And, like, they strong. really talk like the that. Okay. But yeah, I just yeah. want to say, um, you guys passed the test. I was going to try to make right. a point because I just completely made that entire thing up. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm gullible. No, you no, you con- you contested it. That's what I want. I want to oh. see. I want to see if you guys would just oh, believe shit. anything nah. because this upcoming election, you guys. Oh shit. 2024 November. Oh, yeah, okay. You really gotta gotcha. check your sources. That's Don't just fact. believe everything you see on the internet. Got gotcha. you. They, you know, I tried to okay. bamboozle them, but you guys really like, like retorted, that. and I'm proud of you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. That's Thank just you my nature. It. Huh? That's my you, nature. You guys, you guys actually, if we rewatch it, you guys like didn't just believe me right away. Thank you for keeping me. Which is good. That was good, right? Now we need. That's why we need you around. I ain't gonna lie to you. So is that the only thing you learned in your stint? That was not good enough for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, put everything right on the line for you and it wasn't you good enough. You risked everything for me. You know, you're just such a lit person. I just assume like what did you I have do? more. Um, I don't know. It wasn't like a real break because we, we talked a lot during the fucking break. Yeah. So we, you, we, we didn't see each other and we didn't have to be somewhere. Uh-huh. But you guys know everything that's going on in life. I do. I do. Mm-hmm. I, do. I just do hang out with my parents. That's do, it. Do. <laughs> I do. I do. The do listeners. we really know each other? Yeah. I don't. Like, what, what did you? Real? Did something happen with you? Do guys? I really know you, Alex? Yeah, fact. Reggie, do I, I really know you? No. And do y'all <laughs> really know me? No. 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 That wait. we learned. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Niggas all agreed on the no. Like that's crazy. Do you guys think, as the yeah. four hosts, like, no. do are there still? Is there a side of us that all of us do not know? Yep. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. That okay. Then we agree. So we yeah. don't know you. Y'all don't know you my. You just prove yeah. your own point. No, for sure. Y'all, y'all will never see my violent gangster side. <gasps> Oh shit! Ever. Hmm? Now I'm scared. Violence, <laughs> y'all will never see my violence. Sir. Y'all will never see that. Like I'm always gonna be a stand up. But we know it's there. Like I can see. It. Like I, I can. I, like, I don't. I haven't seen it, but I know it's there. I like the smile. Like I believe you. I just like to smile and get along with folks. I want to really like. I want us to be out yeah. as a podcast, having fun, having a good time, and getting something lit, dangerous drinking, happens. and I want a fight to pop off. Same thing. But one of us being involved. Yo, I actually yo, want yo. the confrontation to like start with me. Because I okay, want to see not, how everybody's gonna like follow up. Oh, we got and then follow-up. I wanna go out like six months later and then somebody start with Alex. <laughs> and then like now, yeah, yeah. Like I want all of us to be tested in real time okay. on seeing how we will handle the situation. Oh my god, we have like a bi-annual fight. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, like, I want to see that. Don't try this at the mixing now. I was about to say. <laughs> okay. Say, well, let's not no, forget. Your it, words will not, have power. it will not. It will not. It will not. I'm manifesting it's going to be a peaceful night. And we got yeah. double the security. I ain't even tell y'all. Oh, no. Oh, I, thank yeah. goodness. We just doubled that up. Today. Oh, I knew it's that. Like, yeah, yeah, just in case up. y'all thought y'all was getting through. <laughs> yeah, we doubled up. We doubled up. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I just want to see, like, what that looks like if all of us had to be in that moment. Well, I mean, can I spoil it a little bit? I'll be completely useless. Damn. Does she can't fight? I'm not going to, like, if a fight pops up with you, Savon, I'm just going to, like, Go find shelter. I'm gl- no, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, 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 I'm glad. Yeah, like, you do I'll it. be. I'm not involved in the. Like I, I can, I can do nothing for you. I'm sorry. Like, I think me and Alex could handle it. Oh, I'm, absolutely. Like, I think we would be fine. Oh my god, you know how sometimes they're like, if the, if there's a girl there, I should fight her on behalf of you. I'm not even doing that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hate when dude, I can't. Yo, yo, my lose. sis, my sis gonna beat you up. No, she's not. I will lose. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna volunteer Reggie's hands. Nah, nah, nah. We nah. keeping those safe. Yeah. It's to herself. Can I be racist? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Well, if it's towards me, don't, because then I'm going to start crying. No, all right. So this, <laughs> no. We cannot be racist. Yo. That's good to know. Uh, let me see. Something I figured out on our time alone. Uh, I've been lying to y'all this whole time. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I I'm actually... That. Finally. I'm actually in a relationship. Time out. What? Okay, Pierre, with, don't be gullible. It's not with a woman. He's about to say, with God. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh my God! God. But wait, but what's wrong with that? You good? Nobody like Yo, you come right? on, son. You don't need to call your grandfather. You know, come Stop. on, son. <laughs> don't say that. Don't ever announce a relationship to me. What with you and him? Mm-hmm. All right, but that's not what I was gonna say. All right, oh, talk to actually, was... and and you got to define this whole time. What's that mean? Like, what's that look like? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm in a very deep. <laughs> 
enchanted, toxic relationship. Okay. With the do not disturb feature. Oh. Uh, yeah, me. Oh, Alex, don't <laughs> don't, don't get the air started. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I want to get. I want to start the call. There you go. Oh my gosh. In our time away, I was really able to really take a step back because <laughs> I had people who I usually don't see because I'm usually you know pod and working or just don't have the opportunity to see them. And when I finally ran into them, they were like, "Yo, bro, never pick up the phone." So oh I'm my like, god, what's up with you? And I'm like, "Bro, you didn't call me." And then I look at my call out, and they called you, and they fucking called me. But me and D and D go together so bad. Mm. She don't want to see me with nobody else. You understand what I'm saying? Honestly, I really respect that because <laughs> I, I woke up one day, and well, this is most days, like, yes. and the second you wake up, boom, emails, texts, boom, and That's I'm like, and honestly, I was really, really, really thinking about this. I'm like, this is not natural. Like, I should not wake mm-hmm. up and 30 people are able to reach me. That's when so I, I knew, respect D and D. So did you see, but that's Reggie. That's when I knew that my relationship with me and D and D, me and her, like, was toxic. I don't turn D and D off. D and D hate to see you coming. Yeah, that's, that's that new trend, right? Hate to see you coming. Okay, okay, hate to see you coming. That's it. Okay, okay. Oh, that's it. You, oh, yeah, okay. Now you know the trends, but yeah, man, I don't turn it off. I'm gonna call bullshit. What? I don't turn it off. I'm call oh, it. and here's another thing. Okay. I was, you know, I'm unk too. I was making fun of Savon about that. I didn't realize that you had to place people on your favorites list. Yep. For calls to go I'm through. To bypass to go it, yeah. Here we go, though. When I did figure it out, I placed y'all and a few other close people, but it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. That's such a Wait, cop I was out. like, that That's was so out. sweet. And it didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. Wait for calls. We never call you though. Nah. Calls, text, everything. Oh, okay, my my yeah. shit be on. I got the CIA D and D. Alex is a business owner. You know what I'm saying? So turn it off. His D and ha- like his D and D has to be a little bit flexible. You know what I'm saying? Okay, He's a business yeah. owner. Yes. Yeah. But the thing is though, me and her go re- together real. But I don't ever I see me getting you. rid of her. D and D does hate to see you coming. Yeah, me too. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, for real. You would really hate to see me coming. I love Ooh. onions. Yo, me too. Yo, I fucking that was so oh, random. Nah, because I'm thinking about what really hates me. Like the uh, f- onion hates me, gang. Yo, I love I that love you love it. onions because I hate when people don't like onions. It's I love like, what's wrong with you? Onions, right. garlic powder. But how much? Onions, but how much do you love? Onions? We gotta break this down. Bro, I love all types. Like, like, can you just bite into one like an apple, bro? I love. Like, them what do you raw. mean by that? I love them raw. All right, get out. Nah, bro, I, I thought it was just sex, with nigga. You. I could eat a raw. I love a raw red onion. Raw red, white, yellow. Whatever the you fuck. You don't discriminate. Hold up. Mark that. You don't discriminate. I don't discriminate against the onions. I like them sauteed. Mm, I like nice. them fried and crispy. Mm-hmm. I like the powder. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I oh, like the powder. powder. <laughs> oh, 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 and I like the base hey, of like the sauce. A little base onion mm-hmm. powder. Come on. I love Come on, my base. onions. I, mm-hmm. I love motherfucking scallions, nigga, because I don't know if they are yes. onion or not, but they mm-hmm. taste like an it's onion. A, it's a very mild flavor, good for garnishes. I yep. love them all. Damn, I just this love nigga like all. onion more than food. Damn. Yeah. Like, yeah. Onion, yeah. like an uh, onion hate to see me coming because I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> what? No, you're no, not. fuck it up. He's going in right now. I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going to fuck it. If you fuck an onion, we're done. <laughs> we could pack this whole. I know operation unlimited out. Korean barbecue. Hate to see me coming. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, now Alex, you have to you have to keep it going. Go. Oh, sorry, I put you on the spot. Ooh, yeah. I don't ruin the. Don't I ruin ripped the up basketball in a hot court. They hate to see me. They hate to see me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, you know, catching on. They hate to see me come. I'm gonna coming. be there for four hours straight. I that that was so Yo. random. Yo. I'm so sorry. You wait, wait. He was talking about like yeah. phone etiquette. He was like, <laughs> and so he was like, Onions. I know an onion hate to see me come. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm thinking about the things that hate to see me. Like wow. I love, I really love an onion. I re- I, everything. I get yeah. extra onions. You could dice it, I you could that. slice I it love like that though. raw. What, you mean red, extra? what did you mean by that? Yellow, <laughs> small, sweet. When you say extra, mm-hmm. what did you mean by that? Like what do you mean? I like extra onion in my food. Like if I go get a bacon egg and cheese, yeah. if I trust the place, I'm getting onions on it. You don't get bacon egg. You don't get onions in your bacon egg and yes, cheese. Yes, I okay, do. Okay, that I do not support. So I get onions in the egg. You never had eggs and onion? Ooh, nah, I have, that's a, I have. That's yeah. some, come on now. So, so that's tomatoes. So why can't you just put that in the onion in the in the in the cheese? In the eggs. Okay, okay. All right. You put in the egg though. Yeah, you put in the egg. I just thought you was freestyling like how you do a burger. I would do that. <laughs> I get up. I would do that too. I love onions. Yeah, bro. There's nothing Same that here. makes me happy. And when I open, what do you think it life, is though? It's an the flavor, the flavor, the flavor of the flavor, it. The flavor, the, the, the it's crunchiness. The, it gotta be something. And that should make your mouth kick. It's one of the few things that yeah. you could get it in so many different ways, and it still go feel the Ooh, same. Who, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Every time. Very important question: Who would win in a versus potatoes or onions? Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. No, no, no. Oh. potatoes. Yeah, you no, have no. them fried, mashed, yeah. scalloped. You know, 
Oh, but onion, no, but onions, onions, hard. onions. Totally. You cannot cook anything without onions, though. I'm, I'm, I'm mm. gonna say that's not mm. fair. Because I'm gonna say it's such a stupid conversation. Nah, 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 listen, hear crazy. me out, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say it's not fair because of French fries. Oh yeah, onion rings and French fries. French fries always win. If we didn't have the French fry debate, yeah. Then I think it would be an even playing field. And but chips. French fries are such a cheat code. I like go with fries. You, you can't, yeah. Especially, Wait, for, what? especially what? for the Chinese food spot. Yeah. Yo, you let go of sex and fries yeah. since I've met you. I'm changing. Not even. I don't like. But you. you don't have to let go of. Fries. No, I gotta let go of fries. I'm a healthy girl. Even I, I can't, I can't give up fries. Reggie, you don't do fries the way I do fries. I'm the type. I'm the type of motherfucker. You go get a large fry. They hate oh, to yeah, see I you coming. I, 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 they hate to see. Oh, there you go. A large fry. Hate to see me coming. You know, and I, it was just, it was just chipping into my lifestyle too much, man. Every day I would wake up and I'm like, I want, I want fries. some fries. You go, you look Ooh. in the Wait. mirror and you go, the fuck are you, a potato? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you would order like, the fries. Fuck down, you nigga. Order fries dolo? I was ordering fries dolo, nigga. He's I was putting lying. fries on the burger. I was putting fries on the chips. That's double potato, nigga. I had to let it go. I had to let it go. What's your favorite fry? Regular, because I'm a basic bitch. No, but from where? Hmm? Like oh, McDonald's, oh, Burger King, that's Wendy's. I don't know. I, I, I love a skinny fry. I love that's, McDonald's. Ooh, that's good. Like that's when I knew I had a problem. I didn't have a favorite. I was a whore for oh, you. A whore. That's when I knew it was an issue. Nah, Burger oh. King fries are elite. I do like Burger King fries. Them steak fries? <laughs> no, 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 no. Steak fries are ass. Oh, wow. I don't like steak fries. KFC either. fries are ass. McDonald's fries are ass. No, oh, shit is not no, real. Not. No, they're not. It's not real. He tweaked. He tweaked. I, real, and, real and good is two different things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so real. Burger King fries are real, but other fries aren't real. You know Top what's notch. funny? You mentioned that shit not being real. Yeah. What I learned while we were away, I'm going to be the guy that is 50 years old mm -hmm. thinking none of this matters. You're not I, there right now? I think that shit right yeah. now. I'm there right now. It, 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 like, no, 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 no. no. When I tell you <laughs> none of it matters, I mean, yeah. I'm literally going to live off of whatever I save by the time I'm 50. Oh, I'm not you're not gonna, gonna work. work no more. I'm, I'm going to be the guy who stops shaving. <laughs> oh shit! The only thing that I'm gonna keep is deodorant <laughs> because I told y'all. <laughs> nice I'll little callback, you know. I'll be smelling like them. Yeah, like the onions. <laughs> oh, another callback. Oh, yo, we are on fire. Nah, I was gonna say the <laughs> no, I like Alex better. You see, and that's flag your, on the play. And that's your problem. That's you why mean, we can't take you. But, that's why we no, can't. No, take no for you real. Like I really believe in my heart of hearts. <laughs> once I hit a certain age, I am just gonna. Be let go. a victim of I don't give a fuck about anything. None but of it matters. Know, Savon, this is not that wild because a lot of people do this. Like they just retire and just live their life. But think about why fifty. The, the that's um, kind of young. Why fifty? Yeah, that's a nice low number though. Yeah, because I at feel four. like at fifty you got everything out of your system. You know how like we were having an off air conversation about being a hoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like getting that out of your system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I would get life out of my system by 50. No, because after 50, what? they say, old people say, like, they have another resurgence for life yeah. after that. And it's, like, completely different. So I don't know if you will have everything out of your yeah, system. It's called, it's called a midlife crisis. <laughs> no, in, like, a positive way. Like, nah, you, you want to do more things. For save on, I, I don't know if it's going to be positive or not. Like, but that's what I'm saying. At 50 years old, I'd rather that. Think about the intens intensity that I live my life with. Oh, and, yeah. I'm, there's not going to be much that I'm going to be like, yo, I didn't accomplish or I didn't do at 50. Like, I'm going to be so at peace at 50 that I'm going to look around and be like, nothing matters. And the reason I know that is because when we took our break, I was watching and consuming everything, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm watching all of our contemporaries. I'm watching all of the other podcasts in the space. I'm looking at the news cycle. I'm seeing what's picking up on the algorithm. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, holy shit. Everything that we talk about, essentially, or that's being talked about in the culture, is being re regurgitated. I heard this already. I just heard it from another mouth. I just heard it from another platform. Yeah. And it doesn't fucking matter. Mm. That's what I thought when so I saying, heard X, Y, Z, one, two, three, talking about all of the shit that's happening in the world. And then because we actually had a little break and we didn't have to keep up with the news cycle... I was able to sit there and reflect and be like, holy shit, we come in here, we do this every single week, and I genuinely don't give a fuck <laughs> about what they're talking about at that time. Yeah. Now, what I'm referring to is some of the things with politics, um, the current news cycle, obviously. Drama. We missed a few things. That'd be, we, that'd, we, be, that'd be what it'd be for me, bro. Drama. I don't give a fuck about 
trauma. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I always get I literally so, feel like it's brain rot. Even for people our age, I get so intrigued. And I take a step back and I go, wow, you, you're really eating off of this. Mm-hmm. Like, you really like this. So I could see where you're coming to. Are you saying that, um, uh, like, your hunger and your drive is the reason why you still give a fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do subscribe to capitalism. Yeah. Well, I mean, we all do by the fault. We all have to. No, for sure. Yeah, 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 I do subscribe to it. So I think that's the reason why I'm not really ready. And then I'm, I'm also like energetic. I'm still, I feel like I'm active. I feel like I'm alive. I feel like I haven't really accomplished a lot. As you know, like we're all, well, me personally, let me speak for myself. I'm really competitive. So there's certain things that I want to be able to check off by the time I'm a certain age. Right. So I met with a financial advisor maybe a year or two ago. And I told him I wanted to retire by the time I was like 48. All right. Random number, but I said 48, and he looked at me like I was crazy. Because <laughs> retiring at 48 for somebody who's not an NFL, NBA, MLB athlete is really not likely for a black man. Oh, I was about to say, because them cops, <laughs> them officers, they will get a job. I feel like you 20... could do it. I feel like you could do it. And, and black men. I know black men that do it too. Yeah, you well, got to like, get a contract. Uh, I, don't I, like that account- I don't like that accountant because he should have oh. believed in you. Because you could just make a shit ton of money. Well, like, he mm, didn't believe that's me. That's another thing, too. And he was black. I was about to ask. Oh, you got to <gasps> leave that nigga. And yeah. he was black. I don't like him. that. You so, him. I did leave him. Good, good. He should be encouraging. Great guy. I'm sure, but not really. <laughs> he <laughs> said, yo, you're not going to make money like that. <laughs> well, no, he just... He was just much trying was, to be realistic. His job, like, people get who live in the finance world I get are it. paranoid. Super. Which is why they they're in the finance, right? Yeah. Like, that's why he does what he does. So when I told him I wanted to be retired or have the ability to retire at 48, he looked at me crazy. But in my head, I'm like, bro, 48, I hope that I'm still, I don't have to work by that point and I can just think and I can just exist. So one of the other things that we did or that I did while we took this little quote unquote break, I traveled. I went to Tulum and when I went to Tulum, there was a hurricane, hurricane barrel, barrel. Whatever, however the fuck you yeah, say you that. Right That's a dumbass name. <laughs> like, there's mad B names. You know, oh my God, did you know that like, they were, I looked up, because you know how they have to go through the alphabet for the yeah. names? I looked up Hurricane Regina. They literally retired that shit because it was too crazy. <laughs> really? Oh, so you just one of those. It was one of those where, they, like, you can't you can't use a name Regina or some shit like that. Reggie turn up. You heard it. I was about to say the wildest shit. I know, I know what you're about to say. I'm not going to do it's it. It's going to be inappropriate. Hurricane right? Regina? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's my man. Oh, that could be the episode title. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You I just caught up to that <laughs> shit. <laughs> she said he won't care. No. But I got hit. When I was in Tulum, I was in Mexico. Oh, I got hit you. with this fucking uh, hurricane. Damn. And so for like two nights, so maybe a night and a half, there was no electricity. <laughs> there was no Wi-Fi. There was no running water. What kind of vacay is this? Remember I texted you. I took it back to uh-huh. the 1800s. Yeah. What's that? There was nothing. <laughs> I was just there with my fucking thoughts in a book. And so it allowed me to read and kind of appreciate. Wait, how'd you read in the dark? Candles. Sorry. Candle. Oh. <laughs> old school. Old I had a candle. Okay. Yeah. Old school nigga shit. You Damn, know what I'm that's so crazy. I had a portable charger. I made sure all my devices okay. were. Oh, like, cool. I'm still, you can't prepare. Uh, yeah, I'm a millennial. Like, I, I don't want to live without certain things. So I still made sure my laptop was charged. But anyway, yeah. it just made me, it just reinforced the fact that when I hit a certain age, I'm just going to be one of those people who's looking at everything like, I don't give a fuck. Like Woody Har- Harrelson. Is it Harrelson? Harrelson? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't I know. Harrelson? Harrelson. Yeah. I don't know, but I really fuck with that nigga. Yeah, yeah. Woody. I'm going to just call him Woody. Woody. Woody doesn't have a phone. That's, That's a crazy name. I know. You for, know, for Woody, he has no phone. Yeah. I know. I thought he was just lying. I thought it was propaganda. That's and my- then I was working on a podcast. <laughs> And he was the star of the show. <laughs> Propaganda. <laughs> and the PR, the media relationships team said, hey, uh, we can't get in touch with Woody because he lives on an island Fire. and has no phone. Literally. That's my oh white my goat. Oh my gosh. That's my white goat. Woody wow. Harrelson? Yeah. I've He's been, just over it. I've been keeping that internally for a while. I didn't know when I wanted to bring that up to y'all. <laughs> I found this out a couple months ago and I was like, yo, this guy's got it fucking figured out. Because we have definitely asked like, who your Caucasian goat is since then and you did not reveal this yeah, to I got, us. Yeah, I said Jack Black. I really meant Woody. But, <laughs> yo, I did. I did. Uh, Those are the whitest names School that you could just yeah. confuse. School of Rock. Yeah, Fire. that's my man. Because he just start tripping. He just yeah. start shaking and moving around. Like, yeah. I fuck with Jack if Black. If I recall, you said you only mm-hmm. fuck with Jack Black because his last name was Black and you're Black. Representation. <laughs> He's an ally. <laughs> an ally. <laughs> but see, what do you got it? For, you, that gave me so much hope. For you to be able to be a crazy big movie star, still get roles, still be relevant. 
and yeah. still operate and work without a phone, it's doable. It's doable. I mean, th- they doable. used to do it back in the day. Right? Yo, but why every time I say that, people get tight at me? Wow, who is getting tight at you? I say this all the time. Women, Yo, there have been family. movie stars since the beginning of Hollywood, and like we did not have phones. I think- Or email, or- I think we should all fuck it, because we're not going to do that. I think people should take our phone away for a week. No. no. Uh, see, that's what you, you see. This be my no. thing. No, see, like, see, this be my. Why, no, but like, what see? is my motivation to do this? Like, why do I have to agree to this? I just think we need a quick reset on how things can be and how things were before. Everybody can't right. do that, though. I know everybody he, can't do it. Woody's but, a star. But people I, are searching. for I get it, but it's been done before, right? It has. It has been done before. I know we're supposed to, you know, accept technology, and I think we should. I agree with all of that. Yeah. But just a quick reset, just so we can act like humans again. Like, oh, mm-hmm. wow, I'm a human being first. And then I use a device. Mm-hmm. We're, we're very much married to the device now. I see what you're saying. And it makes and it gets me tight because it skews people's um just how they view you. Mm-hmm. They'll 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 equate it to a to a smart device. I don't mm-hmm. know how I feel about that. Oh my god. So like um I always think about this. I'm always like Every time I'm getting picked up from the airport, you know, your terminal change, your your flight time change, delay, whatever. I'm like, how did people used to pick up each other from the airport without a phone? But I like thinking about that, though. And I like asking older people this. And they were like, you just had to be where you said you were going to be. Like, you had to be there. You have to be a man in the world. I can't text you like, hey, come to this parking lot instead. Like, they just had to be there. And there's no way to switch up. And like, and it just, it just made people more reliable because they're not yes. so flippant and not so... Yes. Uh, fickle, I guess, like that's, we are. Those are two good so, words. So, yeah, I just kind of like, like, and what Alex is saying, he's kind of saying, like, I want us to remember we used to be like that. We basically. really used to be like yeah, that. Yeah. Every time I bring it up, oh, yeah, but we have iPhones now. I mean, I duh. But you don't want to know It does enable <laughs> us, but I prefer mm. to live in this world than that world. No, for sure. <laughs> like, for sure. I was looking around, right? And I appreciate Wi Fi. Yeah. I appreciate Google Maps. I do. I appreciate Google. That's but see, stay right there, right? I appreciate that as well. I think we're losing the appreciation for the other side of things. So for humanity. you, humanity, humanity, right? So for you, when you if you didn't have the portable mm-hmm. charger, if you didn't have your laptop, you would be forced to do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then when it's by force, you have to meet it and be like, oh man, like this is actually how it was. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's good Ugh. to be able to do both. Like just quick example, like reading, being able to read a digital clock and an analog clock. Oh. If everything goes to shit, that's a lost art now. A lot of people won't be able to read. I'm gonna read, read a map, a digital clock, or an yeah. analog clock. Nah, see, nah. Thank God for GPS. I ain't reading no motherfucking map. I don't know how y'all niggas are doing it. See, I'm only young enough for MapQuest. Y'all remember MapQuest? Yeah. Of course. Your mom used to see, like, oh, print that out. Print yeah. that. Oh you, my god. You go, you go print out the little. Well, directions. we had to go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, you had to go. To and Chuck we printed e. out on a piece of paper, and they were like holding it while they were driving. That's so crazy. See, you had to trust the street to get you there. And the wow. keys that are on the bottom right. You just map. had to trust. But that's, that, that doesn't sound lit. It don't sound fun. <laughs> not that it's fun or lit, because uh, these times are definitely like better. Shit. These times are it's better. It's not efficient, right? <laughs> if I get off an airplane at 6.15, mm-hmm. I want to be in my Uber, in my car, in my ride home, right after my luggage gets off of the fucking belt. I would say it's I don't more efficient. Have to wait. I say it's more efficient because people have been efficient before this shit was introduced. Yeah, they made it work. They made it work. I say it's more efficient. Maybe. Definitely Maybe. more efficient. Maybe I'm just jaded. Maybe I think, I'm I do yeah, think we are. Um, a decade ago was perfect because technology does matter. I think right now where we're at 2024, it's a little too much technology for sure. It's a lot, bro. That's I think it. so. Never too much, never too much, <laughs> never too much. Boom, Give me all boom. the technology. <laughs> uh, with that being said, we saw a nigga try to shoot Trump. Yeah, And yo. we ain't talk about it. It he wasn't wild. even here. And we don't got to stay on it. Oh, wait. It's a lot b- going b- on, Before y'all. we actually talk about this topic, mm-hmm. I want to give my own personal PSA. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like it is very important. I told y'all, during our break, I was able to be a consumer, mm-hmm. which means I was just able to live and see and study and not really have to worry about what it is that we're going to say on this podcast, right? God, he is always on our side. Always. Ain't he good? Ain't he good? Now nah, he good, but when Praise I said it earlier, it was why you got a relationship with him. Nah, I just said... Hey, niggas. Well, all right. Yeah. He always yeah. good. Yeah, he tried to clean it up. Yeah, look at that. So he, he, he allowed us to kind of take a step back. Yeah. And one of the biggest events in American history took place during our down period, mm-hmm. which is an attempted assassination on a president. Or nope. a president... I'm sorry, on a former president and go. a president candidate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? presidential candidate. Yep. Presidential candidate. Mm-hmm. With that being said, everybody's talking about it. Everyone. 
the sports people talking about it. I don't want to hear a nigga who's telling me about the <laughs> analytics of the NFL and NBA talk about Trump. But that's what we got. The music pundits, they were talking about it. I don't know if I want to hear a nigga who used to be in the music business <laughs> is in the music. I don't know if I personally want to hear that. Yeah. I don't know if I want to hear you talk about politics, right? There's only a select few of people who I actually trust, who I actually want to hear from, which told me when we return to this podcast, me, save on, not Alex, not Reggie. I am not, I'm not informed. <laughs> Wait, before we go on? I'm stupid. Wait, real quick. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm not going to sit here and endorse a, anybody over anything. I am just going to sit, have fun. Yeah. Because all of this is manufactured from the music industry to politics to me. There's a lot of political pundits who don't give a fuck about Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Meanwhile, in our industry, that was the pinnacle of entertainment, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be able to compartmentalize both. I'm not going to get on this platform and try to misuse it. I'm not going to sit here and try to act like I'm a politician, a political scientist. I don't know enough. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you what the fuck to do with your vote. And I, quite frankly, don't give a fuck. No. And it may be irresponsible, which is why is. I said it is on me. <laughs> it is. I, I, it might be. And that's cool. <laughs> yeah. But I never wanted to get into politics. And yeah, y'all go do that on your own. Yeah. And right, real quick. That's, that's, that's my thing for yep. me. And now if y'all feel different, obviously, like, y'all know, y'all yeah. talk y'all shit. But I'm not going to sit here and try to, like, sway nobody one way or the other because it's all marketing. I don't believe the president. We all know the president doesn't have absolute power. It's all a power structure. It's all a system. Everybody's a puppet. And I don't know what to believe or when to believe in. And I don't want to put my beliefs on anybody. So yeah. I'm just going to let everybody do what they got to do. But shout out to... This is... Yeah, yeah. everybody. What's about to say, Pierre? Rest in peace to Corey Capitore. He was a 50-year-old firefighter. Um, he was one of the people that lost his life, lost his life uh, at the rally. Um, and yeah. And it's that time of the year, yo, like, well, every four years, this is around the only time where people from that, you know, have expertise in other topics or subjects actually start giving a fuck about politics. Yeah. Similar to what Savon is saying, Need to Know is not asking you or swaying you to do anything up here. But what I will say is there's a lot going on outside. And because this is the need to know, I need you guys to know who it is that you guys are endorsing, who it is that you guys are supporting. And really just do some research on it. I know us people can't take nothing serious. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do, I've seen all the jokes, all the memes. I get it. Just don't get too caught in the fanfare and stay on the facts, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I for one, I actually do enjoy politics a little bit. I think that's just the African man in me, yo. <laughs> I think, what? Oh, yeah, like are they like super into politics? Are you, are you for real? I don't know. They Africans love CNN. Oh, yeah. Please on the CNN for me on it. Haitians too. They yeah, no, love Korean, it, Korean people too. Like South Korean yeah. people, all, it was all over the news. Absolutely, because yeah. you can't escape this type of news. Mm -hmm. Like there was a potential assassination yeah. on a former president. Like mm -hmm. that's crazy. Um, and yeah. And I was gonna say, and it's good to be informed too, just to know what's going on. For and sure. Just, yeah. You know the state of the U.S. and just kind of just everything that's going on. Like one thing I found to be like interesting. They were calling, um, there were people, I was in church, matter of fact, and the lady was oh. like, hey, let's pray for President Trump. And then I also saw on news outlets that they were calling him the president. And then it kind of tripped me out because I'm like, wait, he's the former president. Mm. So to already give him that title is kind of like. But to be honest with you, P, they do call former presidents presidents. Uh, these people still have um, the social uh, um, secret service behind them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I, if someone makes a mistake and trips up and says that, I'm not surprised because people do call former president president. Like, I know they still call President Obama President Obama when they see him these days, even though we know he's not the president. Mm -hmm. So I'm not too thrown off for that. But uh, please do y'all research on everything. There is a lot going on outside. And just don't get caught up with all of the antics on both sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is just across the board. And just like <laughs> when you're doing your own research, yeah. I would just like encourage you to not be so like, what is it called? Where Indoctrinated? Oh. Uh, when you're like only reading things that you know you would agree with, what is that word? The phrase? Um, uh, things that you only would agree with. Uh, it's like one side. Yeah, I think it's an, you're something biased. biased. Oh, okay. But Political I bias. I always yeah. refer to it as the filter bubble. The yeah, filter just like bubble, reinforcing your own thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like if you're a strong Democrat, like it does, it does help to like um watch like 
certain videos from like Republicans just to see what you're dealing with. Yeah. But I I, res- I know that you save on it. You, like you're speaking for yourself and like I get that. But I would also say like, I do think that we shouldn't get super into the politics on this podcast because again, it's not a political podcast and there's plenty of other experts that you can yeah. listen to better than us. But I just feel like it is super important to be informed because mm. especially at our age we have a lot of power to change shit that we don't like especially mm. like our generation and shout out to gen z because gen z is low-key more fired up than we are and i really oh, i really respect that i love seeing that but yeah a lot happened and i just encourage you guys like just to get a little into it because honestly politics is like super interesting yeah. and, and lastly so we, won't, we don't have to talk about it here right but i really do i really do think that we we really should be informed yeah. and for the people out there that are saying you, you don't know if it affects you you know, a salute to everyone and a salute to their local government. Salute mm-hmm. to you guys. There are things occurring in this country, y'all, that when I was in high school, I thought could never happen. They made it seem like it was out of this world. I'll give you a quick example, like a Roe v. Wade, et cetera. There are things that are actually changing right now yeah. that I never thought would even be moved, looked at, or touched. Mm-hmm. So just put your energy and your power in understanding why certain things are changing. And if you don't know the change, look up the changes because they can affect you. And Reggie, the term you're looking for was confirmation bias. Oh my gosh, thank you. That was going to bother me to know. Confirmation bias. Oh my gosh. But also, did you guys know that this is the first presidential election since 1976 that will not have a Biden, a Bush, or a Clinton on the ticket? Isn't that crazy? What? They got the niggas out of here? 1976. And one of the things where, again, just to reinforce what it is that you said, do your research because. It, it, and it's just my warped way of thinking. Mm-hmm. Going back to what I said earlier, <laughs> <Yeah>. nothing matters. <laughs> in my head, in my head, head. you know, like, head. in my head, I'm, I'm just looking at some of the things. But I do encourage people to be responsible. Yeah. Um, have their own thoughts, be independent thinkers. Um, and 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 see what works. You know what I'm saying. Do the research. Like mm-hmm. that's one thing that I want to make sure we do because I hear a lot of podcasts in our genre specifically trying to cover everything because everybody feels like they got to talk about everything, nah, right? Nah. There's only a few trusted people in our space that I'm going to listen to and say, all right, maybe they're making some valid points. But there's other people where it's like, yo, what are you just? You're just talking to talk. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I know because oh, I have to cover the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> that is a theme. Yeah. Right in podcasting podcast is, yeah. is we just talk because we feel like we got to talk. Yeah. I don't want to make the mistake of getting on this podcast and spewing ill-informed information or mm-hmm. trying to just say something because I think it's going to be clickbait worthy yeah. or confrontational or whatever the case may be, or just create a conversation. I don't want to be a conversation started when it comes to politics, me personally. Yeah. But Alex and Reggie, they're a lot more informed than I am. Um, they actually do their due diligence. They Try. actually watch the fucking news. And we're, me, I'm just living life. <laughs> I'm dead ass. I'm awareness. lit. No, for real. I don't want to be that guy to sit here and try to tell yeah. you what to do, what not to do, because mm-hmm. I don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah. It sounds very Republican-ish. I get it. <laughs> to just what? tell people what to do? Just say what I'm saying. Yeah. It sounds mad Republican-ish. <laughs> but I would love to inform you, the last time that I voted, it was Democrat. Like, mm-hmm. so... You spilling your tea? I don't give a fuck. No, no, Shout fuck out to fuck you, yeah. That's how much I don't give a fuck. I, know, yeah, I don't yeah, give yeah. a fuck. Right? <laughs> I just want to make sure that when we're on this podcast, because yeah. as y'all know, we've been growing a lot over the last year. Yeah. There's a lot of people who are tapping in with us. We do have a younger audience. And we're actually going to talk about that complex list. Uh, speaking of just younger audiences, younger people in the media space, like yeah. we'll get to that at some point. But I just want to make sure that I get on here and I speak for me. Like, I don't want to get on here and try to act like I know, or I'm just going to read something really quick and then just start sticking to it because it's a great talking point. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. motherfucker, don't get your news from me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't get your political we don't, we don't news have to do that on the show, from yeah. me. Yeah. And research does not mean go on social media. Mm-hmm. I really and want... And that's the other thing. Niggas yeah. don't even know how to do a research paper. Nah, hell no. They never Niggas got chat GPT <laughs> today. Y'all yeah. don't know what it's like sitting up for eight hours Facts. straight off of five hour you energies it... <laughs> sniffing Adderall to get a fucking research paper done. Y'all don't know what it is to do research. Because you want to know what it is for people too? For the nine times out of ten, the algorithm is curated by our likes and what we want to see. So Confirmation bias. There you go. Confirmation bias. So if you know that already... These are probably one of the one times where mm-hmm. you don't want to be biased about anything. Yeah. You just want to see everything across the board and make an informed decision. Make sure y'all vote out there, man. And, right. and I want to say also, whenever big things happen in the news, rest not rest assured, but be sure, just so you know, that other stuff are happening around it that's not hitting Every the time. mainstream. Mm-hmm. That Every they're time. trying to distract you. Nah, for sure. And I remember when Diddy was going around saying vote or die. Remember? 
Remember? Remember those Would you times. listen to Diddy today? No. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. The fuck? But Form your own. why was Diddy even? <laughs> Political bag. You got to do. I'm just saying. But we know what Wait, during what time was he saying that? that was he was saying election. Bo to die. Um, was it like the Obama election? It might have been Obama. Okay, because I'm like, yeah, why yeah. is he? <laughs> he was die. telling vote or die. <laughs> and then he was going, getting fucked. Yeah. You can't tell niggas to go vote and then go do that. And there's nothing wrong yeah. with people who want to yeah. get fucked. But yeah, but nah. Did he got a, He didn't tell us he nah. was doing the shit he was doing. You telling mm-hmm. people to vote and recording tapes and shit? That ain't it. It was two thousand four, by the way. Oh, that's when he said that. Two thousand four. Look at you. Like, like how long we been? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, yeah, man. y'all. It's a lot going on though. It's a lot going mm-hmm. on. Stay prayed up. But the big news, For we don't sure. have to obviously. We just literally rant about why we don't have to get into it in detail. But yeah, yeah. you know, Quick so hits. Biden literally dropped out of the race when there's four months left till November, and yep. he officially endorsed. Kamala Harris. Yes. And that is the big news. And I, I have my own thoughts. on. I would actually, if you guys really want to talk about it, leave like a comment or something. I would love to speak on my behalf and like engage with you guys because like, I don't know what the reasoning was for him to do this so late in the game, especially because he just did an interview saying I'm 1000% running. Shout out to Speedy. Like, I'm 1000% yeah. running. People are saying it's literally because of his health. People are saying he wants to protect Kamala and have all the Republican resources thrown onto him, like research about Biden, and then mm-hmm. him, him being like, boom, actually it's Kamala, which is kind of crazy. All these theories, crazy. I would love to talk to you guys, but we're not going to have to talk about that on the mic because the the better question is, hypothetically, <laughs> if we were to run, <laughs> just a silly little game, <laughs> who would your VP be, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, who yeah. was going to It depends on how we try to run this country. I got three. <laughs> because Kamala Harris was obviously Biden's VP, VP right. so yeah. it got us thinking. Right. Who, who wants to go first? I think we should just say names and keep it pushing. Uh, at the same time? No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 I'll go first. If I was president, Wait, how many names? I have, I have a few do? people that I would consider being my VP. Okay. Go one by All one. Right? We'll, we'll like yeah, one, yeah, one, yeah, one, yeah. One. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. The first person that I want on oh, my side fuck. to run this country is Lori Harvey. Oh, my gosh. What's she going to do? I think she makes great decisions. <laughs> mm, amen. For herself, right? I think she is super, super discreet. One would say she only makes b- the best decisions for herself. Would she be willing Wait, to- Wait, but as a president, you cannot be discreet. That's if what I'm we saying. on niggas, I don't want nobody to know. Which but- we shouldn't. But wait, <laughs> no, I mean, this is not a great time to say that, Savon. For real, uh, <laughs> but you need. This a, is actually the worst time you could possibly say that. But I, it's fine. I know you didn't mean it. So if if we if if we gotta like execute real nigga shit, she I know, would do it. She would do it. I don't she, know, and, y'all, and she wouldn't know. say anything about it. I don't know. I'm saying because she, she wouldn't say anything about it. One thing we're forgetting is this is a person that goes for itself. Everybody around this her is, signs uh, NDAs. Yeah, you don't think that you don't think anybody in the and all that, that means that privacy is at an all time high. I need somebody <laughs> on my side right. who can keep a secret. He just all wants right. to run with Lori Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. You all know, right. she's a Capricorn, fun fact. And there we go. go. <laughs> and there you go. And there we go. go. Full Make, she would, she would be first in line to be my <laughs> VP. She don't talk much. I don't need competition. Yeah. Imagine I have a vice president who want to really like outshine me. Nigga, I'm oh, the president. Oh, <laughs> she yeah, don't we're talk. Talking, we're talking about vice president. I, I keep thinking that you want her to be president. Okay, no, my VP I'm, yeah, I'm the president. She the VP. She don't want all the attention. She just want to get shit done. That's true. She, she does clearly, not want all the attention. That is and, true. And, and I don't want I no that. competition. I don't want to create any tension within my cabinet. I want to make sure I have somebody who is trusted. Right. I don't know nothing about this woman. <laughs> and that's the type of leadership that, that need. I need on my team. Hmm, amen. I like that. I like that. Um, Regina <laughs> would select, if I ever ran for president, which I would fucking never, but <laughs> I would choose my VP. Hmm. How am, how am I going to go? I would choose Guy Fieri. <laughs> That's my son. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. That's how you have to do it, Alex. My fool, I know. I just feel like, you know, me, I have my set agendas. I'm a Taurus. People say, you know, I'm headstrong. Yeah. I have my own shit that I want to get done. I need a uh, sweet little America darling here to win over everybody else yeah. that will not like me. And I feel like he will hit that demographic. Damn. But we're both, we have so much in common. I'm obsessed with him. He's, he's Captain America in and my the, eyes. The food in the White House would be good. Oh, amen. Yes. Yeah. I ain't mad at that. Right? Yeah. Not mad at that okay. at all. Guy okay. Fieri. Like so far, that. we have Lori Harvey and Guy <laughs> 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 Okay. Um, damn, this is a tough one. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Let's do it. Oh, my God. 
Okay. I love him. Yeah. Yo, shout out to um yeah. if you guys are unfamiliar, which obviously everybody knows who he is, watch Deza Samaro's interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson from years ago. It is the best piece of content you will ever watch. No. Sorry, keep, I, continue. No, you're fine, because Reggie is right. Mm -hmm. We need a person mm -hmm. like Neil deGrasse Tyson because uh, you know, this country for the most part has been ruled for over ruled with checks and balances. And one thing a very smart nigga is gonna tell a very dumb nigga is that he's dumb. So <laughs> I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel, I feel like the president's role should, to, he should be smart. He should be informed, but he should be well advised the most. Mm -hmm. like and he's that. very passionate. Yes, he yes, is. yes. And I feel like he would well advise. Right now, I'm watching um, The Boys. I right. finished that. You want to finish it? I, oh, yeah. Okay, so I, I did. I won't I'm, say I'm not anything. gonna spoil anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah go crazy. But I, I'm gonna semi spoil it. So, spoiler alert, just a little bit. Homelander is working with this really smart superhero. Yes, Sage. Sage, black exactly. Woman. Sister Sage. Lori Harvey. Sister Sage. You need the, you need a black woman on your team. Hello. Keep going. <laughs> and Sister Sage, her superpower is that she's the smartest person in the whole world. So unfortunately, a uh, Homelander, who is the hero she's helping in this story, he has a very destructive campaign. And because she's so smart, she's able to aid that. So I just feel like I need somebody really, really That's smart. That's a reason. Right, to I get like me that. to my, my vision, my goal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pierre, who you got? Um, so my number one is a toss-up. Uh, <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> a toss-up got me weak. And, uh, Alex, that was a great pick. Thank you. I actually watched Star Talk on YouTube with Neil deGrasse Do you? Tyson and uh, got, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chuck Nice. Um, That's a great name. Yeah. yeah. But Chuck Nice. <sighs> My 1A, it's 1A, 1B. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm scared. Savon. Savon's 1A. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Shit. Oh, oh, clap it up for that. We lit it. Clap, clap it up for that. Come on, man. Clap it up for that. Yo, close your Save eyes on. and clap. <laughs> he literally just no. said, I'm uninformed on politics. You heard a nigga. That's what nah. we want. He went on a nah, speech nah, nah, nah. about how he's I'm uninformed. That's what that want. shit. That's I'm going to explain. Because Savon say some dumb shit. Damn. But now he come to love, but he also is smart when he wants to be. Yeah, yeah. So true. I can vouch for that. Yeah. I'll take it. That's I can true. vouch for that. Yeah. Um, you need a smart dumb nigga on your team. <laughs> trying to tell you. Ask them all. Oh, wait, what? I said ask them all. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Uh oh, it sounded like I Yeah, that's what I was like. I said ask. I know. Them now all. I heard you. Now I definitely heard you. Oh for my sure. god, so is one B gonna be <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna just leave it for one day for one day right now. You sure? Yeah, I thought you were gonna pick Alex. No, 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 no. What's yet. up, nigga? I can't run with you. Just let me cook. Yo, relax. Let me cook. Relax. Me cook. When another black man get love, just let him get his love. Now you want to be a vice president? Just, fuck just out let him get his love. I'll be the president, the vice, whatever you want to do. <laughs> nah, real quick, next before, round, I'll, I'll say the next person. Nah, real quick, and we're not gonna drag this out. Mm -hmm. I do want to hear y'all, y'all, y'all runners up. Your runner ups. I have oh, runner ups. Oh, oh, if, oh. if you had any, gosh, I got some. And we don't Let's gotta stay on wire. Yeah, rapid fire. I got fire. some. I got some. So Lori Harvey for me, she's going on my ballot. I need that. that. I yep. need Lori. She gonna hold it down. Yep. Capricorn woman. They stern. They make decisions. They quiet. They don't snitch. And I know they could get us where we need to go. Yep. All right. I yep. agree with all those things. Yep. Lori Harvey. Boom. For me, next in line, I got Ray J. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got Romeo Santos. What the fuck? And I got. <laughs> It's hard right now between Jason Bateman and Paul Rudd, but the, <laughs> if, if, if it's not, ass nah, ass. I'm not so, giving no context so why, though. but so if I'm not though. riding with Lori, I'm going with <laughs> Ray J, Romeo Santos, Jason Bateman, and Paul Rudd, gang. <laughs> Wait, Paul Rudd from Mall Cop? Gang. <laughs> Wait, nah, is that him? Nah, that's not that's Paul. Not Paul Rudd is Ant Man. Oh, my fault. You know, I be giving whites. Confused. I know. You are racist. My fault. Wait, but they don't even look alike or they sound don't. alike. He's my racist. My fault. <laughs> so I would, that's a sick list. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so my, he, this honestly should have been my first pick. I'm so sorry to this man. Yeah. But I would choose my VP as Jordan Rose from Complex. He is wow. my guy. If you wow. know him, me and him have literally been locked in for the past decade. Oh, the Jordan. He's literally like another version of me, but he's going to surpass me one day. So I really, <laughs> just want him as my running mate because yeah. who else and just just look him up guys but i'm sure you know who he is but that's real life if we're like all jokes aside if i had to do this in real life i would pick jordan rose capricorn king yeah. um he's killing it in the journalism industry and then the second one it's all the shock value is gone because i accidentally leaked this information in the chat but i would pick sean evans because <laughs> he is the goat i literally <laughs> i'm sorry i have to say it every single time <laughs> if there was a race war i would only save Sean Evans. <laughs> and I hope he would save me. 
he as, his, as his one token agent. He's dead ass water. He be yes, fucking passing no, he would You ain't freaky enough. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna go no, fight. He, he can fuck other women, not me. For real, yeah, nigga, he is 69. And God. I would pick him because Yo. his delivery, if you watch Hot Ones, his delivery, he could say his point like very sternly and not stutter and all that. I like his delivery and you need to do that and all those debates and shit. Yeah. I can't debate because I'll cry. And he could kind of like. Yeah. Pick it offset up. that okay. you know he has a very good delivery shout out to you Sean Evans Not thank you for being on my team I like that Alex like that. rapid fire let's do rapid it rapid fire quick Narwhal um, <laughs> I needed somebody on my council who know random facts okay you go, you, and about the other team I'm trying well. to tell you he gonna know the drop on the ops he gonna know the whole drop on the other side and the craziest part about it is the other side is never gonna see it coming hit him like a missile alright yeah. cool two Vince Staples oh Damn, that's, that's a good, good one pick. Vince Damn. Staples I realize is my spirit animal even though he's not an animal. All right. I can see that. Somebody that gets right to it, yes. can see through the bullshit. I like it. And is not afraid to say what needs to be said. All right. Lastly, LeBron James, faithful black man, carrying the Olympic team at 40 years old. Le I mean, Captain America. I mean, Le Captain. Le Capitano. Le Vince Prince. Yeah, Le that's Capitano. Yeah, Le Capitano. Yeah, I like come that. On, oh, shit. But it. I will say the yeah. common denominator in all of our list is there is at least one Capricorn on there. Thank y'all. Shout out Why to y'all. Why you know all the Capricorns? Just relax. Like, Yo, the yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. you know that? Gang, he really the Capricorn like, <laughs> no, like but top Sean notch. Evans is a Taurus. We have the same birthday. Mm. Okay. Pierre, real quick. So rapid Pat, fire. I got Melinda Fresh Gates, Abby Phillips, Oops. and uh, Emmanuel Acho. Melinda Gates, you Melinda said. Melinda Gates. You got the right idea. Yeah. Melinda Gates. Melinda Gates. You got the right idea. Oh, you're swimming out, in milk. No, nah, she was giving out money to us um, once Bill did his bullshit. But anyway, swimming in milk. Yes, she did. Uh, Abby Phillips. She's a CNN pundit. Really smart. Oh, Abby Phillips. I love and, her little pretty ass. Like but that's like a, an, a dead ass answer, though. That's valid. It's not silly enough. <laughs> nah, I like This is a serious <laughs> country. Nah, I was dead ass about Lori. Nah, my, my, that's about nothing. You thought I'm not trying to be in the cabinet with Lori? Oh. If I had to consult... With anybody out of all the people we just listed, <laughs> I want to. You cannot be in love with your VP. I didn't. I don't know that. I don't, I'm not in love. Who said love? Yeah, oh, lust. Lust. No, no, no. That's even worse. No, no, no. Lust with my VP. unserious trust. pick was save all. You never see scandal before. Trust. All right, Olivia Pope. I trust Olivia Pope. Scandal. I trust a black woman. Now talk shit. You right. Now nah, we uh -huh. all do. Yeah, How can we talk shit on that? Yeah, I know. Go Come crazy. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, y'all list is yeah. kind of interesting. You said yeah. Narwar. Yeah, it's my man. One of the other things that we missed was this complex list, this media list. Mm -hmm. Every year, this is the second annual complex media list. You actually mentioned Jordan Rose. Jordan was yes. a major, major uh, contributor mm -hmm. to this list. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. cannot be, obviously, conflict of interest. He's not allowed to be like on the list. But if he was allowed to be on the list, if Complex people were allowed to be on it. He would have been top fifteen. Should be oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And I he's think killing it right now. A lot of people at Complex would have been on this list. I know Speedy, Speedy yeah. he wasn't on the list as well. Oh, yeah, I know yeah, yeah, B Dot, yeah. he wasn't mentioned on the list. I know he had um, a show with Complex. I don't know if brackets. he's still there. I haven't seen but, brackets. Um, yeah, yeah. I know there are some people that were excluded from the list because they were Complex affiliates, employees, right. whatever the case may be. Um, those two in particular, they stand out. Um, Speedy, he was mentioned a few times. Oh, also, I want to start out by saying shout out to Charlemagne too. Sh uh, oh, Charlemagne, yeah. he kind of gave us a, a nice look on the Brilliant Idiots podcast. He Salute thought Charlie, yeah. if there were a more up to date list, a little bit more current list, that the folks on the Needs to Know podcast would be on there. So, yeah. uh, with that type of acknowledgement, definitely want to shout out to him. But real quick though, do we agree with him saying that the OGs, like the Sways, the Angie Martinez? Uh, the big boy in the morning should they not be included in this? Yeah. Aren't they still in a race or Alex? Yeah. You work at Sirius XM, yeah, very closely in the hip hop music section. Mm -hmm. So before I answer, I would like to hear your answer. Oh, this, oh, this guy getting good with that podcast <laughs> and shit. Um, I see both sides. I don't know if I necessarily have an answer though. The first side that I do see is that yeah, a lot of these people are well off at home already. For sure. And I know a lot of these people are not looking to be uh, number one, number two, especially when they've done so much. I'm not saying everybody, but most people. So mm -hmm. I can understand the need for that. Um, on the other side of it, it's like, yeah, it could probably take away from some people maybe not getting the spotlight or shine when they've actually shown up. So I'm, I'm pretty split on it. I got to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I, if, if, there were, if all of the OGs really cared about it, then it's like, all right, yeah, group them. It'd be a landslide every year. It, and it would be a landslide every year, absolutely, yeah. But I do like the list because it's current. Like, mm -hmm. have you? What have you done this year to kind of stand out? So that I agree with, mm -hmm, kind mm -hmm, of. Mm -hmm. A lot of it was centered around the, the Kendrick Drake beef. 
Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it was a lot of people, uh, in particular Charlemagne, he had a problem with DJ Head not being on the list. Yeah, because if I it thought was that was an issue too. If it was centered on the beef, then he should have been top five. Absolutely, no question. DJ Head was literally if if it was academics on the Drake side of social media, mm-hmm. it was head for West Coast mm-hmm. and that whole thing. So, you know, to their um yeah, parameters, but, he definitely met it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but on the Mm. On the media front, mm. I think I, f- I feel like Head kind of not came out of nowhere because obviously he's known, but mm. in terms of speaking about it, I feel like his voice was kind of not as loud as Axe. No way. I, 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 disagree. I mean, disagree. 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 He was like the, academics is bigger. He was the yeah. voice on the yeah, on yeah, behalf yeah. of LA for, West Coast. for sure. For like, sure. No, I, I I agree with that. I'm just yeah. saying his his voice wasn't as loud as Axe. No, of course not. But yeah. that's why Axe is number one, right? Yeah, his yeah. voice wasn't as loud, yeah. but his impact was. Yeah, his impact was there. And sure. this a, a list like this, when you talk about power rankings, like even and and Pierre, you work in the NFL, you work closely yeah. to sports. Power rankings are not necessarily who has the best record. Exactly. True. Power rankings are current. who's having the most impact, mm-hmm. the uh-huh. trajectory. Like a power ranking is: Are you what is what are you doing today, mm-hmm. and what is your potential in the future? For Absolutely. sure, right. Um, and for somebody like a DJ Head, he definitely should have been on this list. And again, I don't want to discredit Jordan or no, anybody no. over at Complex. But Head should have been there. Head also had the DJ set. He should have. At no, the pop up concert. That's yeah. unanimous. That's like. And, like, that is that's a crazy. unanimous yeah, that's decision. History. He's got they, a new show with Sirius. They, yeah, yeah. They dropped the ball on that, mm-hmm. um, not including Head. But there was a little bit of controversy from um, Elliot Wilson. I don't know if y'all want to kind of go into each and every person <laughs> on this list, you know. but there are a few people I do want to highlight, right? I don't think we go into like each and every person. Isn't it long? The... It is. It's 25 yeah, people, yeah, yeah. but yeah. there's a few names that I would like to highlight. Mm-hmm. The first being at 25, Gabe. Gabe P. Yo. Shout out to Gabe. Oh, I didn't know he was 25. I thought yep. he was higher. No, he, he, he was 25, and yeah. I feel oh. like he should have been higher. Gabe mm-hmm. wasn't even on the list last year, which was a mistake, but... Yeah. 25 is dope. I'm glad y'all, you know, including him. Gabe should absolutely be higher. For he sure. Has, He's been putting a lot of people on. Bro, he has the go-to freestyle spot. Mm-hmm. That's like back in the basement on BT. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big ticket shit. Tigger. The big ticket shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like yeah. that is that is this generation's that where artists know if I go up there. It's gonna do something. It's gonna yeah. do something. Like Big Sean, yeah. his freestyle made so many waves and that was on, on the radar. Yeah. So. Drake Central C. And Come on. I, I Spice. I did. She no. had a debut on there yeah, before sure. she popped. Yeah. Absolutely. He For sure. Been higher. So at 25 was uh, Gabe P. Again, I'm not going in chronological order. I just want to highlight a few Some names people. and then oh, yeah. we can kind of like give commentary there. At number 17 mm-hmm. was Angela Yee. Yes. Last year, she was 14. I think personally, her absence on The Breakfast Club for has been, me has been felt. Has been so missed. Mm. And just for that fact alone, mm. 17 is too low. Yeah, she showed she showed what she brings. Hey, she sure. showed yeah. what she brings with her absent and also the content that she's bringing with Mano on um, Way service. Up With Ye. Way she even brings B Dot. She also has exactly. She yeah. also has um, lip service with Ye. Absolutely. I think she should be a little bit higher. If not, right? Like if we're talking about legacy acts because we do got the Sways and we do got the Angie Martinez's and the Big Boys. We're talking about legacy acts. I understand that. Yes, she may be a current name, but. Her, Charlemagne, DJ Envy, they are in the fucking Hall of Fame. Oh, no, they and are. There is yeah, a legacy. Sure. Yes, Angela, right? yeah. And if we're going based on that, I think Ye should be a little bit higher because me personally, I miss her on a Breakfast Club. And shout out to Just Hilarious. She's like, needed on a Breakfast Club. Just Hilarious, Club. I've, I've seen her growth, right? I know she's also, she's carrying I, it. She's, you saw it? I mean, she's also carrying a child right can, now. Can I get your glasses? <laughs> you can't see through these. But no, I, I, I'm all jokes aside. First time I, I told you how, if I'm like, bro, what's going on? Is she reading this correct? She's too. I listen every day though. She's to a point right now where she's like better. she's getting very sharp. All right, all right. She's getting oh, very she sharp. Put, she was given a tough hand. Yes, yeah, so like she's a legendary a, role. Absolutely. Yeah, and coming from being a comedian to an on air radio talent, like it sounds like it should be a a, a seamless transition. No, it's completely different. But it's very different. Understanding the cues, how breaks work, how to speak, when not to speak, curse words, etc. But to your Angela Yee point. Yes, Angela Yee deserves all the flowers in the world. Yeah, I also keep up with Way Up with Yee. That's not just yeah. because I'm in radio, mm-hmm. but it's because I actually enjoy what she's added to the nationally syndicated space. I was going to ask about, like, I was going to ask, do you miss her, Save One, because, because you feel her absence from The Breakfast Club or because what she's doing now, what she transitioned to is kind of better? Is, and Alex and then Reggie, same thing. Yeah, no, it's just one of those things for me where you kind of just take things and people for granted. 
And I think she was really phenomenal at her Y'all job. Y'all took her for granted, yo. Yeah, we just took her for granted being on The Breakfast Club, Y'all being able to granted, manage yo. the personalities of a DJ Envy, of a Charlemagne. And also, she had relationships in this business. Like, to Alex's point, Jess Hilarious is a comedian, yeah. right? So her field is a little bit different than somebody like an Angela Yee who grew up on Shade 45, who yeah. grew up in radio, who has these relationships and these connections with some of the people who are appearing on your show, right? There's a history there. So with that history comes a built-in rapport, which you can't duplicate, right? Mm-hmm. You, you, can't, you, you can't replicate that. Like Angela Yee knowing some of these artists and being a music, hip hop, personality, media, journal, whatever she's labeled, like that's invaluable. And I feel like as an audience, we kind of took that for granted. And again, yeah. like you said, shout out to Jess Hilarious. I'm not trying to knock nobody. I do think there's room for improvement, but I think a lot of people on their job, they have room for improvement, yeah. right? Like yeah. she's also pregnant, so I'm gonna give her that benefit of the doubt. But I think she does need to improve in this particular role because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a radio, a broadcaster, this is not podcasting right yeah. radio is not podcasting so when i listen to the radio as somebody who has grown up in the era of radio i expect to hear a certain level of refineness mm-hmm. not that you have to be super professional but there's a certain but even that comes with amount of hours it, right it, it does yeah. which is why i'm gonna give it a little bit of grace yeah yeah after you have a baby maybe it's a little bit different right but for right now like there's still tbd for me the jury is still out on her in, in, in that phase. Mm-hmm. But again, it just made me realize the importance of Angela Yee. And it speaks to Yee's professionalism. I think that's one thing that doesn't get talked about enough. She's able to show up no matter the person, no matter the task, the job. And I remember y'all out there saying way up with Yee would fail. It hasn't. Oh no. yeah, it's hot. It hasn't. Yeah, I don't think and I don't think and she has this slot, I think she has like- Right a, after Right breakfast after right? Breakfast right. Club. Oh, yeah. shit. So to mm-hmm. take that spot mm-hmm. and still show up on the dolo, very impressive. Shout out to yeah. her. Yeah. So she was at number 17. She was at 14 last year. She's at 17 this year. Um, some of the other notable names, we don't have to stick on. Nori, he's at 11. He was in the top five last year. He's Dropping at 11. I don't know if he deserves to be at 11, but I don't know what he's done in the last year. So I respect it. I don't think anybody knows what's going on with the drink chant business. I think people have maybe seen a little decline in the type of guests that they're getting. Mm -hmm. So most people are just going to say, oh, maybe they're not, you know, the the list is running dry. The Mm -hmm. well is running dry. When in actuality, you can interview anyone however many times you want, so long as it's impactful. Yeah. Uh, I could could see him at 11. I just caught some of the DJ Quick uh, one he just did. One thing that Nori's always going to do, he's going to show up for legends in our in our place. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. But I also think to Nori's point, and like you said, the business, I'm glad you said the word business. Yeah. Because the business of Drink Champs, for me, I've, I've been, I literally watched the very first episode of Drink Champs. Like, I have been there from the beginning. What was the first episode again? It, I, I don't know, but it was in a dusty basement somewhere. No. Oh, damn, <laughs> really? just, the, qual- the sound quality really wasn't good, and they were really getting drunk and really giving nah, it up yeah. in a real way. That's when Diddy the was first... calling Fab Daddy. That was even oh, before yeah. that. Oh, I was yeah. there when DMX was on there giving oh, it up. Yeah. And fit, like yeah. I was within the like I, I've really followed Drink Champs, and I'm glad you said business because I think the business of Drink Champs is why they haven't been as magnified. Right. Because every time I see Drink Champs as a podcast consumer, they're with another brand. They're attached to Mass Appeal. They're attached to Revolt. Revolt. iHeart. They're Iheart. attached to Revolt. They're attached to CBS. They've had so <laughs> yeah. many fucking different deals and a hand and everything. And I get it. Nori, go get, get your, your bag. I, yeah. Go get your go bag. Ahead, nigga. But I think the business of it can also affect the impact of it. Sure. Which is why I think he took a step back to 11. Got you. I get can it? see that. Not cool. Bad, so man. 11 was Nori. And then we got the top 10. And again, we can kind of speed through the top 10 because I know this is last week spicy. news. But Top 10, Alex's VP. We got Nardwar. My man. I don't know how he got top 10. <laughs> my man. But he got top 10. I'm not going to question wait, it because I'm not wait. as informed. My man. I feel like, didn't last year, didn't you kind of also give this energy? Like, what? Like, Nardwar is, he's, eh, he's all right. Top 10? I remember Savon saying something like this as Along well. The and then of Norway, I was yeah, like, yeah. Savon, are you not aware that he's like <laughs> literally the GOAT? Because I think Nardwar was in the 20s last year. But I'm not yeah. going off of your catalog. You're going off what you did this year. This year? I'm Got going you. based off what you did in the last 365 days. Yeah, and off top 10 guidelines. 10 and not having DJ Head? Yeah, nah. I can't stand yeah, that Yeah, the DJ Head thing was definitely a blunder. That's my VP, Crazy. but yeah. I can't put him at 10. All right. Nardwar, <laughs> top 10. 
Uh, he was at number 10 last year. He was at 22. Right. He was in the 20s. Yeah, I remember that. Number nine was Gillian Wallow. Okay. I'm not mad. As long as they're top okay. 10, I'm not mad. I do think they're top 10, but I think they kind of fluctuate. Again, going back to the word business. business I yeah. don't know their business, but it feels like they're in limbo somewhere in whatever they're doing now, podcast-wise. and it, Not culturally-wise. No, 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 Podcast-wise, it's not connecting. And it looks like they're adding shows. Yeah, they're doing like side quests. They're doing side quests. Like yeah. Gillian Wallow do this and that mm-hmm. where it's completely separate, which is I think is actually kind of good for them because for sure. it doesn't make them solely dependent on a guest or a celebrity. Yeah. It does feel a little bit low, though. I will be honest. Feels uh, a little low? Yeah. I got to hear the rest of the names. <laughs> Number eight, Anthony Fantano. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I gotta ask y'all in the room. Isn't how seriously the, isn't how, he the needle drop? Yes, how he is. What's the needle drop? What's that? That's his platform. Like he reviews oh, music. That's he infamously we're... gave my beautiful dark twisted fantasy a really low grade, and people hated him for that. How seriously do you guys take his reviews? I don't listen to him. I don't. Okay. I don't. Honestly, this I, I don't is, know. <laughs> I should not say this yeah, as a journalist, but honestly, <laughs> I don't really value people's music reviews. Like I don't really. Yeah. I know there are professional critics. I, I, res- <laughs> I respect it, but like I just their opinion does not really weigh that heavy on me. Like if somebody hated an album, I'm like, okay, that's cool. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. So, so I never was really like a big needle drop music review guy. Yeah. I mean, I, I know he has a ton of like shock value to him, I guess, or maybe the way he speaks. He doesn't I'm have not a lot too of familiar, like, so controversial I'm... opinions. Okay. He, okay. All right. They have him at eight. You said he was at number eight. Number seven, we got Ebro. Nah, I got to put Gillian Wallow above them, though. But you're right. You say uh, Ebro. Yeah, you're right. Ebro at seven? Ebro at seven. Last year, he was 13. He cracked the top 10. He's at number seven. Okay. Um, he has, obviously, Ebro in the morning. That's you know. a New York City staple, Hot 97 staple. Shit. He also has the Ebro show and Rap Life. I know he's he has On some Apple. position over at Apple, mm-hmm. working with uh, Nadeska uh, Nadeska. and Loki. Mm-hmm. So he's doing his thing over there. I like that But show. number seven, I'm not going to say it's too high. I'm not going to say it's too low. Again, it maybe it's right. my New York bias. I, I know Ebro. I see Ebro because I'm in New York. Yeah. And I think Ebro does a, a phenomenal job at, at what he does and owning who he is. I don't think he tries to play the young man's game. I think he's comfortable in his skin and That's he wears that. That's a great that. point. And yeah. number seven is, is, is a good place. I'm not mad to that. I'm not, I'm not mad, mad at that. Even his tweets kind of get traction. His, yeah. his, his tweets he, surrounding music and things of that nature. They He doesn't do things for clicks. And I, 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 I can appreciate that about Ebro. I truly can. Uh, number six was DJ Vlad. Jesus. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. This one was this one was tricky for me. This one was tricky for me. Nah, yeah, this one was tricky. <laughs> I will say, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. me knowing the editorial side of it and how these meetings usually go, right. I could tell. Well, I'm I'm not gonna assume I don't work for Complex, but these meetings with these lists, they're like the hardest thing to agree on. I, agree. I will say it's actually like crazy the process what goes behind this so i don't know if all the people that were behind this list agreed with this decision and a lot of the decisions just wanted to put that context out there i will say this though helping to serve tupac's murder is up there yeah i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you like i i I definitely yeah help solve like he had the dude that's locked up now i'm getting the dude's name uh kvd kvd thank you and he also had other other associates of the situation on um, I guess where it got a little bit tricky for me is that he has a plethora of different personalities and celebrities that he brings on. It's not solely just to hip hop, rap, or, or that culture. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen mafia bosses up there talk, you know what I'm saying? And maybe I need to do more of a deep dive on what he did this year mm-hmm. in terms of hip hop. But I, I'm not mad at him being in the top 10. Top six, uh, it's tough. I'm going to give DJ Vlad personally top five. Really? Top I'm, yeah, I'm, I thought because I'm not mad at it. I'm trying to understand. Person, I'm I'm gonna give him top five. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go opposite. Well, based on their criteria, I don't know how much he really covered the Drake and Kendrick. That's shit, what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Based on that criteria, but in the landscape of media and hip hop journalism, hip hop media, hip hop content, Vlad drops a video every single day. Mm-hmm. Vlad drops some form of hip hop content. Pretty m- more than probably anybody on this list. His catalog, not only is his back catalog extensive, his current catalog is extensive. Um, yes, he does cover some of like the mob bosses and people who may not be of hip hop culture. Right. But he does such a great job of casting a wide net of hip hop affiliates, um, the people behind the scenes, some of the people who may not have an opportunity to get on a platform. He gives out so much information. I know, I understand the optics around Flat is he's an op, he's a fed, he's a cop, he's this, he's I that. Mean, that's what I was saying these days. But there's so <laughs> many people, and I've watched every single Tony Ayo interview. 
Yeah, facts. Me too. I, That's I, my bro, twin. I've watched every like I have subscribed to Vlad's YouTube to watch <laughs> yeah. Tony Yayo's interviews. Like I am invested when Tony Yayo drops or sits with Vlad, so, I'm watching, right? Yeah, or the boozy one. Like I like when and you look up with boozy right? too. There, I, I can't front. There's certain people yeah, that yeah, yeah. are recurring on mm-hmm. his platform and where culture. it's he's only going to put out what you give him, right? And so if you're giving up information that can get you indicted or in trouble, that is not a Vlad problem. Now, I do think he, I don't think he's perfect. I think he does have some flaws, but I think for this list in particular, when it comes to his output, his consistency and the content that he puts out, he's undeniably top five in my opinion. I'm not mad at that. Like I said, the Tupac, um, that, that case getting solved. Is uh, means a lot to me, and I don't know I if it's lie. him as a personality. Let me clear that up too. It may not be Vlad the personality; it may be Vlad the platform. Right. Which this entire list is a little bit kind of gray area ish because you put somebody like a Jason Lee on for his personality, but I think his platform is a lot larger than who he is, which is what you want to do when right. you get in that position, right? right? So I think the same thing kind of applies to Vlad. Uh, let's get into the top five. Top five real quick. It is Elliot Wilson, number five. He was number eight last year. Number four is Charlemagne the God. Um, number three is Kai Sanat. Number two is Joe Budden. And number one is DJ Academics. Who's the fifth slot again? Elliot Wilson. Elliot Wilson. Who's the fourth slot? Charlemagne the God. I'm not mad at this top five. Really? You think... Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. You think Elliot... Should be in, in the number five slot. I'm glad you brought that up. Similar, very similar to what Savon was saying, right? I don't think that the people that conducted this list solely put it on the body of works that they put out, right? I think it was also centered around on, hey man, how much of a how much are you a part of hip hop? Right? Like how how um visible are you in our space? So if they're leaning towards visibility, I think Elliot be everywhere. This comment, screen shoot a picture here, put it up here. Mm-hmm. He's very visible. I, I will say that. I don't know what people decide to digest in terms of content or what they keep up when it comes to him. He's very active. He's very active. That that is a fact. I yeah. see Elliot more than Fontano. That's for sure. For sure. I, I you know even and I fuck with Ebro. I don't see Ebro as much as I see Elliot. No, I the, don't. The and only, I fuck with Ebro. The only thing that kind of deters me from. Uh, fully agreeing with the number five slot for Elliot is like whenever he's like speaking or like on a podcast somewhere he always references where he's come from and like what he's done in the past Yeah. but in my mind it's like alright like if you're here and you're on this platform especially nowadays like let me know more what, let's, let's talk about more about what you're doing now like who you're with who you're talking to like stuff that's coming up like don't give me like a history lesson in a sense some people are just like that right where they're like yo man I've been doing things for a while and you might know or you might not know yeah, but every time though, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I know people that I'm close to that are like that, <laughs> and I don't decide to love them any less. I know some niggas. Every time they come around, yo, I used to be this, I used to be that. You know, I'll do this, I do. I but again, because I know who the individual is. But to your point, a lot of people don't know Elliot Wilson, mm-hmm. so I, you're mm-hmm. right to that. To the naked eye, I could see. We're like, damn, you always picking yourself up. On the other side of things, when you're active and you still outside. You might want to remind some people that are younger than you, like, yo, I did used to do this. I get it, mm-hmm. though. After a while, it's like, oh, my God. Especially when you have a resume like his. Yeah, like, you're going to pull it out. I ain't going to front. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 I shit. think, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm yeah. also just trying to think of my answer to the question. I don't know who else. Right now, I, we could, like, brainstorm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know who else I would put in the top five. Besides this list, besides mm-hmm. DJ Head, as we have stated, mm-hmm. I don't know who else I would personally take out to put in, if honestly. We, if we're going off the guidelines of like um, what they said, which is it was, a lot of it was centered around the Kendrick and Drake shit, academics, Elliot Wilson, Joe Budden. Um, I I'm, guess commentary when it comes to Charlemagne the God around that situation. He would talk about it on Brilliant Idiots. Wait, Animal. this was like the official criteria that... Drake and Kendrick. They, they did mention that, right? They did it mention the criteria. Like that was in the rubric. That, that was they one of that. That was the, one of, yeah. the, the, oh, okay. the, the, the points that kind of leaned heavily right. Right. towards, right? So there was a I'm, bunch of different factors. I'm so that confused. was one of the biggest. Elliot came factors. out and told us how Kendrick Lamar came up to him and said, You're a rat. So, He's in LA. So he was involved. He's on you know, the show with like, DJ Head. He was. Like, okay, sorry. It just clicked for me that that's, that's one of the official criteria. Yeah. How was DJ Head not 
I don't know. Father. Like that I don't is. Know. You got to talk to your man Jordan. Yeah, I don't know. That's what it sound like, OG. You the OG. Yeah, get it. You the OG. You just shouted out Jordan <laughs> Rose. Like his yeah, words yeah. is all I mean, honest. I'll, you got to talk to Jay Rose. I'll talk, I'll talk to him, and I know he's gonna tell me the truth, but I'm not. Gonna air it well, on you air. Get, sure. not, when you get the I truth, tell us though. Yeah, just tell, just I would the never do that. Yeah, the group chat, tell nah, us. Nah, for sure. And, and, and it's yeah, not yeah. about knocking J. So Rose because like, I don't want to make him head, the face of like, people who, you know what I'm saying? Like, he is, like, not just him. he is the face of complex. Shout out to you, Jordan. He is the face. I will say it. You really are. And what we will say to that is great power comes great responsibility. And I'm sure. Because now his name is kind of associated with I'm sure next year when this list comes out, he's going to be a lot more involved in. Hey, what's the criteria and how do we go about this? Right. But with all of that being said, the top five, I think Charlamagne had a problem with Elliot being in the top five, which resulted in Elliot Wilson crashing out on social media for like a week. Now, <laughs> Elliot, we love you. January 14th, Capricorn. I get it. That Twin is so crazy that you guys have the same birthday. Twin. Right. It fucks me up that is when so I wild. see him crashing out in this way <laughs> because instinctually is just continue to do the work. Fuck what Charlemagne says about you. Although Charlemagne is great. Now save on. You brought up the Capricorn shit. I fuck with Charlemagne. I'm he's competitive. He's, no, 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 he's competitive. Thank you. This got nothing to do with Charlemagne. Okay. I'm talking about you because I love you and I yeah. know you. Mm -hmm. You have had some of those same tendencies in the past. <laughs> but not on some crash out. Publicly or privately? Both as, as a little well. bit. More private. Absolutely. Way more private. But I'm saying though like don't fault him when you understand it. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, I am faulting. <laughs> yeah. Because I think there's also a responsibility with the position that he's in. Because he's always said, I want to be active. I am active. I don't want to be mentioned with the Angies and the big boys. Like, yes, mention me with them as far as what I've done. But also mention me with the Joe Buttons and the Charlemagnes with what I'm doing. Gotcha. Right? That's been Elliot's stance for like the last two years. And I respect that. And I get that. But I also think there's a way to go about it and crashing out because that's <laughs> it looks like a crash out like that's what it looks like i don't know if that's his on intent. social media shit. on social media it looks like he's crashing out i think charlemagne's issue with uh elliot was he believed that elliot complained his way into the top five i think joe even mentioned it too like yo elliot you only got here because you was bitching and moaning and bitching <laughs> and moaning like so damn you're getting in these positions, and whether you deserve it or not, that's not up to me. Personally, do I think Elliot deserves to be in the top five? Yes. I believe Elliot should be in the top five when it comes to this type of list, because I don't think anybody after his name was called has been as visible, as informed, or as vocal mm -hmm. when it comes to the things that's happened in hip-hop over the last six months, seven months, eight months, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Right? So I agree with his placement. I don't agree with just how he kind of Goes about, goes about people it. who yeah. doesn't agree with him. Like you've been in media for mad long. Everybody's not gonna agree with you. But see, that's what I'm that's the thing about me getting older. I'm realizing that people are who they are. And to real I, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm I'm really like it takes, of course, right? The mature professional approach that we maybe want want to expect out of someone is like, yo, you don't gotta do that. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that. The older I get, bro, I'm realizing. People are who they are. And, that's a fact. And I feel like now, too, that it's kind of coming off as um, that's part of Elliot's strategy. Like, like, hey, let me let me react to this. Let me say it. Let me but post keep it. it in mind, let, but, but let's be honest. Though. Let's be Yeah, because let's be honest. People were trying to call his traditional um, media a bit Style, boring, yeah. right? Niggas say it all the time. They say it all the time. So maybe he thought like, all right, man, y'all playing. Let me turn it up. <laughs> let me turn it up. Like, I'm really turn on it. I'm really like this. <laughs> I also think I yeah. agree with Savon like there's a certain way to go about it like mm -hmm. addressing things but also I'm realizing like they like Charlemagne and Budden were talking shit about mm -hmm. Elliot so in his mind in Elliot's mind probably it's like okay I'm gonna respond like you guys were talking mad shit about me I'm gonna get like my feelings off but then again like I also agree there's a certain way to go about it and right. I'm not the one to tell him how to go about it but right. that's just what he's doing he's like yo you talk about me first I'm gonna talk about you like, and the thing that really triggered Elliot was Charlemagne's mention of him not being in the top five now I don't know like Charlemagne didn't elaborate on why he didn't feel Elliot should be in the top five so I don't know I have no idea why he feels that way. Right. I listen to Brilliant Idiots. 
every single week for the last eight years of my life, mm -hmm. including last week's episode. Mm -hmm. And I still don't know why Charlemagne feels how he feels. He didn't Wait, really he give. Didn't, he didn't mention. He didn't the, give an explanation. Oh, I thought I could have sworn like, people said he did give. An he didn't give much okay. of an explanation for, as to why. He for, just said, "I don't believe Elliot should be in that place." He didn't say where he should be. He just said, "Yo, you're an OG in this game. Right. You should be on another list." And you shouldn't feel any type of way about not being mentioned with the guys who's doing it today. And I can respect that. But also, to be as visible as Elliot Wilson and not have a daily reoccurring breakfast club, not have a Joe Budden podcast that you're a part of on a week to week basis. Granted, I know he's just started the bigger picture with DJ Head and I forget the other guy's name. And that's a whole up rocks operation. I understand. I actually like the content there. I get it. But even that's a new, that's a very new it uh, is a piece of content. It is. You know what I'm it saying? Is. So to still be that visible and not have anything reoccurring on a week to week mm -hmm. basis like that, like he was on Patreon and pe he was still visible. What, what <laughs> I will say about their exchange is yeah. it feels personal. Okay. I, I, we wouldn't know, but that's a fact. I could see that. It feels because I got a reaction. Like I don't know. No, I feel you. But yeah. it feels personal. Okay. And going back to what I said, I'm, I'm a fucking student of this game. I can't say it any other way. I watch everything. I see everything. I have to be informed by everything. This is the advantage that I feel that we have on this podcast is one, just being a student, one, being informed and just paying attention to the things that everybody may not be paying attention to. One of those things that I was paying attention to is when Charlemagne went through his list, there were some hard edits on certain names. <laughs> you can hear it. Number 13 was a hard edit Who was for the Brilliant Idiots podcast which they didn't mention, which was Rory and Maul. What? Right? They went through the list. Charlemagne, Nyla, shout out to Nyla. They what? went through the shout list. Nyla, yeah. And maybe they did have commentary on number 13, but in their video and in their audio, there was no mention of number 13 at all. Mm. Now, to me, that says, as a producer, putting my producer hat on today, right? Hey, producer says, Charlemagne either said something he didn't want to go out into the world or he really just had no thoughts on it and he just didn't mention it. Mm -hmm. But let's go a little bit deeper because it's not like he said, hey, number 13 was these guys and kept it pushing. There was literally no mention. It mm -hmm. went from 14 to 12. Mm -hmm. But did that happen with any other part of the list? Not like, did in he that skip way. around like we did? No, no, not at all. He went through every other number. That was the only number they didn't say the number this 13. This is interesting. Right? So that's one, which tells me whatever. And the three of them have some background together, right? Yeah, they got some little, background. Little history. Yeah. I think Maul said that the Breakfast Club was going to be over at some point. So Charlemagne, he didn't really take heed to that too right. much. Um, I know Rory was banned, allegedly. I don't know how true it is. But Man. I think from what the public knows, Rory was banned from the Breakfast Club by uh, DJ Envy at some point. So maybe there is some static there. I don't know. That's not my business, not my place. But I do know from watching The Brilliant Idiots, they didn't mention number 13. And then when we get to number five, Elliot is mentioned and there's a hard cut. Boom. It tells me mm -hmm. that something was said and maybe it's a little bit deeper than what it is that we know. So with the whole Elliot Charlemagne thing, I do think there is some personal things that maybe we aren't aware of. Yeah. I feel like Charlemagne might have laid it on a little bit thick. A little bit thick on Elliot. And that's fine. They big boys, they go figure it out, duke it out, all that shit. Yeah. I think it was interesting how he does acknowledge Joe now. And Joe does acknowledge him. I think that is oh, yeah, step yeah, yeah. one to reconciliation, in Aww. my opinion. I don't know. And from what I heard, he he just bigged up Joe. I didn't hear him talking no shit, yeah, no, no nothing. Not yeah. at all. Not at all. Yeah. Um, I think the top three was valid. Mm -hmm. um, as long as Kai Snot was there. Yep. Yeah. I think the top three was well, valid. Hold well, hold on. Char Charlamagne was so professional. Ain't talk shit. <laughs> Joe went up there and said, yeah. It's lit, nigga. I'm not next to you. Yo, this, the game is crazy. Because because yeah. Joe, game, it, he says he's not mature yet. He does say it. But you he know, does say it, bro. If Joe's not number one and Ack is number one, he still feels like he's number one. <laughs> oh, yeah. you think so? But he said Ack was he, number one. We know Joe. Come on. Nah, but I, we know Joe. That, like he's we know Joe. But this year, if again, if to their context. Act deserved. It. Act Act was yeah. mentioned in the songs. Yeah. Act deserved. It. I don't he like, was the was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. forgot? Act come on. Uh, Joe was was too. On Kendrick. He said Act Joe. Act looking compromised. Joe was too. Joe was too. Yeah. Joe was yeah. Joe. Yeah. Joe was I don't, like how, I don't like how Complex did that little bullshit right up at the end for Act. 
What they say? Well, let Ag defend himself. Yeah, facts. All right, you, all right, you Pierre. Pee. Yeah, yeah. Let Ag defend I'm himself. Pee, like he, you good? <laughs> now we you're being your like, no, no, no. Let Ag gonna, defend himself. I was just gonna draw a distinction between like how everybody else is. Yeah. And then, I wasn't gonna say anything crazy. Be <laughs> read it. Don't listen to me. Read it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, but um, just just to that point, I think this list is dope because who better? to do a list on the people who are going to talk about it. Right. Right? Like, if there's anybody to do a list on, it is the people who's going to cover it. Mm-hmm. So why not fucking create that list? And every year is a thing. Mm-hmm. It is. It, it, they it has all get bad. Like... And like Charlemagne said, I do think there needs to be a little bit new blood in, injected into this list. I think it's four people that's missing off the list. Okay. Head. That's okay. DJ Head, The Need to Know Podcast, Rob Markman, hey. uh, Nyla Simone. Real talk, though, I'm... Thank you for saying that, Savon, but y'all got to stop crashing out over these formulaic um, approaches, y'all. Like, it's all good. Be confident in who you are and what you do, and you'll be out at the end of the day. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to be mentioned. Amen. It's amazing. The acknowledgement, yeah, people want that. It's amazing. I never want to take that from people that deserve it, absolutely, but I'm telling you, life is so beautiful. Life mm-hmm. is so important that th- these are things you, you do not have to crash out Trivial. <laughs> like, the come list, on. Like, niggas is really lit in real life. Feel me like. <laughs> That's how Eminem feels. crazy. <laughs> That's why when Eminem see niggas list and when Family Feud is doing whatever they doing no more, <laughs> he gonna family, drop an album. That's why Eminem is feeling how you feeling hey. because in real life, <laughs> yeah. he's good. <laughs> I don't know, but Eminem will always address it though. Like on the album, he yeah. addressed. He addressed. I think he addressed Melly Mel. No, no, no. He addressed something of somebody calling him not a good rapper, and he addressed mm-hmm. it. Like he will always probably address Lord it. Jamar. Lord Jamar, oh, don't Lord fuck Jamar. With he, yeah, he don't fuck with Eminem. He, he don't fuck he with Eminem. He keep it hundred, man. He he just say how he felt. Yeah, that was another thing we missed while we were away. Eminem, he dropped an album real quick. We ain't got to talk about it. I used to be a really, really massive Eminem fan. Yeah. I feel like here. some of the women who probably wanted to sleep with me may not want to sleep with me now that I told that information. You but fucked up. I gotta mm-hmm. live in my truth. I used to really fuck with Eminem. He's probably top five, top three, top one for me at some point. God damn. Today. I can't listen to that shit, man. Did you listen to it though? I did it. Why didn't you listen to I it? I can't listen to that shit, bro. What? <laughs> you still feel like you still feel like he. This was. Okay. I think this was a... the return of yeah, Slim nah. Shady. Yeah, nah, no. The death but of I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but yeah, you... but the return in terms of music, you're right. I was yeah. a stand. Yeah, I was a stand. We you were, were the stand. Same like, way. not no legit. Not all of us. I used to I like. I was album. a stand for this white nigga. But that's what I'm saying. though. I thought you would have say well. I thought you would have been more pressed because of what he was. Tapping into, I didn't Slim listen Shady. to it. I didn't listen to it. But just the the title, the name, that didn't intrigue you a little bit because that no. that was the era you was listening to. Slim Shady. Can I be honest? Yeah. When I saw the Illuminati art cover, uh, it threw you off. It threw me off. Uh, I'm tired of seeing the one eye. With the one eye and the door. I'm open. tired of it being so blatant. Like y'all playing in my face. Like hide it. Be LeBron. Well, I will say this, man. His fans are still showing up for him. He sold 287 first week. 114 of those pure sales, which is very That's impressive. Crazy. That's crazy. That's Only huge him. for 2020. What? Only him and Nicki Minaj are doing those types of pure sales. Um, so yeah, people out there buying and streaming. Yeah. Shout out to M. Yeah. Shout out to M. For real, for real. I Another think I said this Detroit before. native. Another Detroit native, Big Sean. Big Sean just put out a single called Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, How'd that go? Play it. <laughs> I, I thought you listened to that shit. Not listen. Yeah, how'd it go? No. <laughs> it's called Yes. He usually has so much it's music called commentary. Yes. And he okay. said, no. It's called Yes. Okay, I love it. It should have been cool. Look, no. Here we go. I'm gonna just play. I'm gonna give us a little bit of yes. He oh, had me right here. Reggie. He should have called it C. I know. Reggie, he had I know. Reggie, he had me. I know, me. I know, I know. I, I was know. all in. I'm all getting 2088. Right. You're getting all that from I this. will say the beginning Wait. of the oh, song. The he got me. The beginning of the, his first few bars were bad. <laughs> and that that's coming from me. Like, I'm very excited about this Big Sean coming back. I'm Me very, too. I'm, I'm all on board. I really wish him, I really wish he gets what he deserves. Same. All the attention. But this song, it was not my favorite. No? This so, is coming from someone who is really, really rooting for him right now. Well, let's get into it. He had me right here. All right, turn it off. Now keep it playing, matter of fact. Keep, keep playing, playing so they can hear. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna tell you where. where I want you to Hold recite on. the lyrics because <laughs> you. <laughs> all right, but you. <laughs> 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 all right, 
Way back. Nigga, saw he taking his shit. You ever been on the toilet, but you got one of them shits that's not really coming out fast? That's that flow. And that's my man. <laughs> All, right. All right, turn it off. No, turn it off. no, I Nah, because you ever been on the no, toilet? I don't know if you caught it, but he was like, yeah, you. I, I kept it to myself. Why would you? Because I'm not born, bitch. Why no. did you say that? Because uh, he's. Oh, okay. I'm Alex African is a rapper. music man. I'm the African version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, now nah, it was called Yes, right? Facts. Should be called No. <laughs> uh, let me. Like what? <laughs> hey, salute to Big Sean. Similar to what Reggie is saying, yeah. I'm actually really excited for his upcoming project. And um, it's highly anticipated because it seems like the coast is finally clear. <laughs> <laughs> for Big Sean to release his album, uh -huh. right? It looked like every time he's trying to roll some shit out, Kendrick has something to say, Drake has something to say, or just mm -hmm. a bigger artist has something to say, like a future or something like that. Mm -hmm. So um, now let's get into the song real quick. This is going to be real quick on me, man. I heard this song four or five song times just to make sure it was Big Sean profile because I thought it was Travis Scott. <laughs> No, and switch. the first few right. opening lines were like, I must get on it. Like, Big Sean, like, he knows. Right. Why did you do that? Like, and the fucked up part about this is, he is so lyrically gifted and so and so good at what he does well. So, no real talk. Don't like, laugh. Check out no. the on the radar freestyle. So, no, he bodied no, the on the radar. I love that. And I no, yeah, I laughed because of my my brain. What <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. thinking to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My next point, but keep going. Okay, okay. Don't forget that point. Though. Nah, I'm not. I'm not saying it. <laughs> okay, got you. Nah, just it's say on, it. We'll take it out. No, okay. <laughs> it's some. Oh, nah, yeah, just keep the up. So on the so it's on the radar freestyle mm -hmm. as to what Reggie is saying. He can really, really rap. He's showing you how he's over a Jay Dilla beat. He's really, you know, leaning into his flows and his 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 wit. This right here sound like Travis Scott had two perk sixties in a bad bitch with him. <laughs> and nah, it, it it was giving Travis Scott a little bit. Respectfully, you too good at what you do with the lyrics and and, and your pen to be trying to do. Anything else that anyone else is doing. I don't know, but I don't I'm mind I'm going to keep the whole hundred with you. Not mine. Because if, if he did that for the whole album, people will also call it one note. <laughs> All right. I'm so gonna be he's really trying to switch up. I didn't really mind how he sounded. I wasn't too mad. I was mad at the bars. Before no, I Alex goes it. and continue to kill him, I'm going to say this on my behalf. That's my dog, though. I fuck with Big Sean. I am forever in debt to Big Sean, so I will never say anything bad about Big Sean. Not, not that... I think he's a phenomenal artist. I think he's made great music. Yeah, leave it I love. think he has an amazing... No, it's all love. There's nothing coming after the love. It's all love. That's it. I did a shoot with Big Sean one time. He was eating his Chipotle. I'll never forget this day. We was downtown Manhattan. And one of my friends, he was in between jobs at the time. And he needed some words of encouragement. My friend is a really, really massive Big Sean fan. After I wrapped the shoot with Big Sean and Joe... I went over to Big Sean and I said, hey, man, I know you're eating your lunch, but my friend, he could really use some words of encourage, uh, encouragement right now. He looks up to you. Do you mind if I give him a call? Big Sean said, hey, man, call him up. Call him up with a face full of a burrito. <laughs> what a nice guy. So wait. so for that experience alone, he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to nah, do it. Yo, that oh. tells me the type of person. Why do turn me no, into this that person? tells me the type of person that Big Sean is. And so for that Again, it's my bias. 95% <laughs> of the people who are listening to his music have never met him, so they have a different lens. For me, I'm always going to support Big Sean. I'm never going to knock too, him. You a, good, I, you a good I, I friend. Think, you a good, you but, a fucking great friend. I'm a great, me? Yeah, that's fine. No, that was hard. Yeah, that was a good friend move. So for that reason alone, I'm always going to be skewed when, I, when his name comes up because there's so many different people that I've met who wouldn't have <laughs> been so receptive. So for, for me, yes is yes. I mean, you could have a moment like that with Big yes. Sean and still criticize his music. Nah, yes. I was just about to say that. Yes. <laughs> like, I, okay, so he can't be a good person and I can't say, nah, that ain't it. Because <laughs> that was not like, it. Just because no. I, no, just because I met someone yes. and they were super nice, that doesn't mean I'm never going to criticize their music, Zayvon. <laughs> we no. were just doing it on the, um, 
The Kendrick Lamar Drake recap we just did, right? Who like, I met out of them? None. It's Big Sean. Yes. I hate this. Nigga. I hate you, bro. Yes. No. So we not doing no I'm Big still... Sean slander on this podcast. No, we are. No, it's not even slander. slander. I literally say, "Vaughn, I literally just big him." We not doing no criticism. We doing criticism. If we critique him, no. I'm editing it out, bro. No, no we're not. It's no, we're not. not. No, no not. we're not. Yes, we are. <laughs> no, we're not. You just don't like right. say yes. I love no. I <laughs> say it in Spanish. Si. si. No. <laughs> ah shit. No. Okay, I love Big Sean. Ah, shit. I, I, I'm, I'm down still, down. I'm still anticipating this new album for real because I'm sure this is just probably just a single. You know, just a feeler, feeler single. Get it, you know, get it mm-hmm. warmed up. But Sean, please, please, bro. I want soul beats. I want lyricism. I essentially want what you did over that Jay Dilla beat on the on the radar freestyle. What do you think about the that? Is, crazy. That is that peak. Crazy. That is that was peak crazy. Big Sean. I'm gonna play that. Okay, that is Keep Opal talking. Big Sean. Mm-hmm. When you get into that bag, that's when we start believing that you was in contention with J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and Drake. That's why we love Detroit so much. His mix, his mixtape because there was a lot of shit like that. And Absolutely. Dark Sky and his what? And Dark, Dark Sky Paradise. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I said my it felt like a fantasy, fantasy though. I nah, met him. I was hitting. I it felt lie. like a fantasy. I was, fantasy. Kind of fantasy. Yes. I, I was. Yes. No, you're right. right. But anyway, let's let's real quick. Let's play. It real let's quick. be. Let's be honest. Look at this. I love this pocket of him. Come on. <laughs> Beef with. Come on. I love Vic Sean. I love Vic Sean. Uh huh. I'm gonna play the whole shit. Fuck it. Cause we not big up nobody that's not big short. <laughs> Yo, fuck out of here. Straight big, yes. See the nigga, right? Alright. <laughs> Come on. Come on. He's when How he's the, doing this, nah, he's top five. Nah, this him. this when one. Wait, no, no. You hear me? Yo, so I, when he's doing this, Yo. listen. I said it. I said it, nigga. When he do this, this this is when we believe everything mm-hmm. you be talking about. Mm-hmm. Real shit. And for him, I feel like he knows that. You, how was the how was the on the radar freestyle better than the single you put out to promote it? But I don't know. He I don't get it. He yeah, can't nah, do a whole it. album That's of right. this, Alex. He nah, can't. he should. It can't be. Nah, he should. Maybe yeah. this was just like the the experimental record, right? Nah, that shit was hard. Maybe this is exper- if the entire album do you sounds hear like that. that do you hear the soul crazy. on that beat? I love that freestyle. That that is his pocket, like Reggie it was is. saying. It that really is his pop. That is his. When he do that, we not gonna say nothing. When he do that, he's really really top five. Come on, if like he's really top five, I do want to shout out to my 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 guy Duff Duff Juice uh from hey, Twitter. Shout out to Duff. Duff he big, keeps on big, big, big supporter for sure for yes. sure. Yeah. He had a tweet. And I agree wholeheartedly with this tweet. And I don't know if I want to read it verbatim cuz I don't remember exactly what he said in this tweet. <laughs> cuz Duff is a wild yeah. nigga. He, he get crazy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. the summary of his tweet is, "Hey, Big Sean and anybody else from that era I don't want to hear any arrogant bars. I don't want to hear any I'm the best bars. I don't want to hear anything about you being the dominant person in this era Mm -hmm. after Kendrick Lamar has done what he's done. Yeah. yeah. And I agree with Duff. It means nothing. Shout out to you, Duff. Because you would have dropped the album in the midst of all that if you really felt Mm -hmm. like that. But you waited... Which was smart. It was done. Let's be, that Relax was smart. On big That's Sean. my dog, but let's keep it a buck, man. Niggas want to talk high. I get it. He was sending shots at Kanye on the, on the radar freestyle. I like that. <laughs> on the single, Relax. he was talking to, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? Like, Grande yeah. Sean, nigga. Relax. Yeah. He was with Ariana too. Grande. All right, man. <laughs> Grande. That just made mad sense to me when him, he was with Ariana Grande. See, I did the Fuck science for you. Ariana <laughs> Grande Sean, nigga. Big Sean. Like, <sighs> I did the science. That's why that's his soulmate. I think. He nah. did. He, I think he might have said that. But anyway, <laughs> re- like, yeah. relax on that. I'm the best bars. You Please. Because yeah. they don't hit the same. It don't hit the same. And that's not just for Big Sean. And again, y'all know my stance. I told y'all, I will never go against Big Sean. Because of what my personal experience. And that's the other thing about podcasters. I think podcasters need to really double down on just saying, I don't fuck with other niggas because I fuck with that nigga. Nah, I I, I endorse that. I fuck with Big Sean because of my personal interaction with him. So anything that he drops. What about the rap though? Like the rap is amazing. So you how many times you gonna play that single we just played? Like how many times you gonna spin it? Like I don't listen to music and I've been that guy. Mm, but you do. <laughs> but you do. I don't. But you do. I you listen just to said Dark Sky Paradise. That was 10 years ago. It's Big Sean. I don't listen to music anymore. Yes, you do. But I will support 
because that is what the ever we're in the content you era. Listen to music on the radar. <laughs> yeah. It's content. Yeah. I'm gonna continue to Your listen. Apple to that. Music wrap up is gonna tell us differently, but okay. Remember you said this. I can't wait to reveal ours. <laughs> but yes, everybody for the next few weeks, do not forget that Big Sean makes amazing music. Yes. Like genuinely. Yeah. Also, real yeah. quick, I heard his album got leaked. I was gonna say that. Yeah. Do people really up. still give a fuck about that? I don't even touch. This is not 2009 where I'm rushing to fucking LimeWire. I didn't listen to it. I don't listen to leaked albums anymore personally because I really want to see what the artist prepared for me. You like know, the end people, product. The end product. I could care less about. Uh, uh, songs I've never heard before. I don't, I don't care. I, really I don't also care. just feel like it's so really disrespectful care. to the artist. Like even me as a journalist, we don't really report on album links because that is just not in the artist's best interest. Right. I just, I don't know. I just don't like leaks. I don't blame people. You. People were saying that Kendrick might drop his album around the same time that he drops his officially drops his. That is oh, that would be so crazy. Then we gonna get blessed again. But then it's like another stepping on. <laughs> we gonna get no no I, no. We might see another beef if that. Happens. They are both very much outside. I don't oh. think it's gonna happen though. But I think Sean know what with, it is. With people like Big Sean and Wale and Meek Mill, I think they're the only three that I could think of off the top of my head who is in like that second class after the quote unquote big three. Um, the thing about them in particular, Big Sean and Wale, is they take massive breaks. But I think they take massive breaks because of the business of music, which is support, which is label support, which is budgets and all of those things, mental health. Right. Both of them are like really big on one is big on spirituality. The other is really big on mental health and depression and anxiety. And for those two reasons, I think they the, the cards that they were dealt is just completely different than Kendrick, Cole, and Drake. I'm not right? going to lie though. He got to chill with that depression shit. You got Janae Aiko right there. No, no more. Who, Big Sean? I wasn't talking about him with depression. Oh, but shit. It was Wallet. Yeah, I'm like, Big Sean yeah, is not really. Oh, shit, my fault, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was talking about jacket, Big fault. Sean for like other reasons. Mm -hmm. But so I think not, when yeah. it comes to those two in particular, <laughs> got older, I think they just need to remain somewhat visible, right? Like, I get it. You don't want to always be in a limelight. Like, that's what Drake's quote unquote weakness was in his beef with Kendrick. Like Kendrick used that against Drake. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, you want to be famous. You want to be famous. You want to be out. You want to be out. And then it like he proves us right because why are you at Michael Rubin's party in the midst of this beef? Yeah. That right. Look, that look really weird. You get what I'm saying? That so the Drake point, that makes a lot of sense, but you can't be on the entire other end of the spectrum when it comes to Big Sean. Because you go missing for like years. No, you're absolutely and right. And it, it loses a little bit of luster. You're right. And that party that uh, Michael Rubin does every 4th of July, um, we saw pictures from it, right? Yeah. One notable picture was Drake just looking a bit tired. <laughs> Probably not the best photo of Drake. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Drake wouldn't have posted that on his page, hence why we didn't see that on his personal page. But Michael Rubin sat down with... Um, Hot 97 with Ebro in the morning, Rosenberg and Laura Styles. Yeah, Savon's about to play it right now. Thank you. And what, the friendship with Lil Baby, why, why such a, what was it about him and your guys' uh, rapport that By sort way, of connected to him? He's a great guy. Ba baby is great absolutely guy. one of the best human beings great in the guy. planet. Um, <laughs> he is. How do you know? There's never been a thing the I've asked him to help with, like from a charitable perspective, with the Reform Alliance. Um, there's never been anything. He's just such a great human being, and like I love his work ethic. And also, like when you hear his story, and I again, I don't know anything about music. So when I met him the first time, um, which Ray can I pause the, that real quick? Yes, I don't know anything, anything about, about music. music. But we see him with all of our greats. With all of the biggest rappers and artists in the world. And, and athletes. Red flag number Across one. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like you. he doesn't have to be a music expert to be friends with artists because artists are also, they have many sides to them. Oh, yeah. We're going to get into that. Okay. We're gonna get I'm not mad that. at that. For sure. Yeah. Um, right, right. in 2020. And he's telling me his story about, you know, he was in j j jail a couple of years earlier. He never rapped. And now he's got this great, you know, kind of music career. Like, you just want to root for the guy. And I'll tell you something. I've never actually said this before. Y you know, the stuff of the truck was the most. Re no, keep going. Right. Here. Thing in the world, right. We're at a party. Everyone's drunk. You know, it's a, it's a 13 hour party. People drink a lot of alcohol. You know, 
someone captures a picture of me jumping on his back for one second and says, oh, there's something suspect about it. This is just these drunken guys. By the way, before comments, we've all done it. Like, let's, let's keep it real. By the way, you love WWE. You've done it. I've never jumped on another nigga's back when I was drunk. Drunk, I've sober. You saw me jump on a nigga's back? You, like, I was about to say, what people the doing fuck? It. I ain't never did that. Listen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to you. We all know white people joke differently. Than yeah, it's different. It's different. So, and for those of you out there that don't, that don't know who Michael Rubin is, he's the CEO and founder of Fanatics, which is a global digital sports platform. Uh, Fanatics includes businesses like licensed sports merchandise, trading cards, collectibles, sports betting. It's bullshit. Nobody even carries cards today. <laughs> Nobody even uses their fucking credit cards. Everybody uses Apple Pay. So you're telling me a nigga got rich off of fucking trading cards in 2024 and 2020, 2017? No, it's probably, and I have no, I am saying this again, just like I said at the top of this episode when it came to politics, I'm saying this with no information. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Well, right? He got rich before this. I can fucking bet he was rich before this. Mm-hmm. There's some level of nepotism. There's some level of, oh, I know a guy that know a guy that know a guy that got me rich. And I am just a fan of this culture. So I'm going to penetrate this culture. It, it looks, it smells, it quacks like a duck. Motherfucker, it's a duck. And I can't wait for everybody to see it. I have nothing personal against Michael Rubin. I don't know that nigga at all. Nah, facts. I have no idea. But when I see you parading black people the way that you do Say to get your status in any type of social space, social structure, I'm sorry. my red flags, my antennas, I'm they sorry. go up. Fuck out of here. I'm with you, bro. I'm so sorry. I don't I don't know this man like Savon is saying. I don't we don't find him to be a evil individual as of now. But Savon is absolutely right. What do that again? I do know that Meek Mill, because I don't want to be fully, you know, uh, ignorant here. I do know Meek Mill has worked with him on the sports brand. So maybe they, the two of them have done business before. I'm sure Lil Baby has done business. I, at least I hope he has with how he's tagged along with him for. But similar to what Savon is saying, something that stood out to me is I wanted to talk about this months ago. I saw Kostin out on stream and he received a call from one of his friends and they asked Kostin, hey, man, do you want to go to Michael Rubin's white party? It was Aiden Ross. It was Aiden Ross that yeah. asked him? Yeah, Aiden, the- Aiden, and, uh, Aiden and Academics asked him if he was going to go. But Got the you. time you're referring to is Aiden. Got you. And Kai Sinat, who was number two on the complex list, right? Third. Notable in third, I'm sorry. Third, so yeah. notable in our culture. They got him high up there with our people, right? My dog said, nah, I'm good. I'm like Kai Sinat? Yeah, yeah, he and, said, Yeah. Uh, I'm listening to no, okay. no, I was gonna say, and academics kind of like you could tell there was because act they were all on the stream and they kind of like there was like a funny air about why they all said no. Yes, there was like a funny aura in the air, as if they didn't want to really get into why or etc. And then you take a step back and you go like, man, I'm sure that the pictures of all of the people in our culture and our space really help promote his those shit. Are o- those are the <laughs> only pictures we see. Those are the only pictures made public. Those are the only pictures that people stand by those are the only pictures that allow you to get on hot 97 yeah so when he can't understand the pictures i like yo why is everybody talking like it's like yo bro like if you was really maybe a part of our culture for real what you could see how uh-huh what I'm do you listening. mean about like the only pictures that get you on hot 97 like what do you mean by that if you're not in continuous pictures with jay-z people in our with yeah. drake mm-hmm. with the black athletes who are close to hip hop culture with the little babies, with the Meek Mills. Brady, Brady if you're was not on that too. Clo- if you're if you're not flying in their orbit as closely as you are, you don't get an invitation to Hot ninety seven. Yeah, but like, what is is Michael Rubin's goal to be on these hip hop outlets? Though I don't know if because it's I feel his like goal. the white the white party is like. It's, I know we see the rappers there. We see Drake there. We see Odell Beckham there. Like uh, the people that we are looking for. But mm-hmm. the white party is a huge thing. White America also talks about this party a lot. The pictures that he posts have a lot of white people in him. I, I understand like us saying like, oh my God, he's like leeching off of hip hop culture and trying to be down. But I also think like people, hip hop, like rappers and athletes are just like, they run in the same circles because they're all rich. And that's just like what it is. Yeah. I don't think he's like kind of just, Trying to infiltrate something. I, the the I, thing I, mm-hmm. no, I'm listening to you. No, uh, the thing I was gonna say is the also the common denominator with all of this is everyone who they hang or who Michael um, 
you know, hangs around with nowadays. Everybody has an audience. And his business is to also be in the audience uh, or the those people's audiences. So if he's looking to make money and, you know, just have his brand carry. Right. He'd have to be associated with those people. And also when we see these big parties now, they're synonymous with, unfortunately, the Diddy situation, right? And the Diddy party. And I don't want to relate Diddy and Michael Rubin together, but I'm praying to God, save on and Reggie, that the people that attend Michael Rubin's stuff are just aren't compromised in any way. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a good like my, my antennas go off. I'm not, I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. Like We don't necessarily know the business that the people that be next to him do, but we know that he be with them. And again, we could be completely wrong. Hey, if you, if those of you are calling me and mm-hmm. Savon fucking crazy yeah, know, and convinced. we reaching, that's yeah. cool. Because yeah. Th- This will be monitored. I think there's some people who try to buy their equity into For the sure. culture. For sure. Right? Let's, let's keep it <laughs> right. I don't think on. you grow in the culture. I let's think you right try there. to buy your equity let's stay right there. into the culture. I think he's somebody who's trying to buy his equity into the culture. Reggie's so right about how they're... But also, they're not saying, like, oh, my God, this is my bestie, though. They're like, they clearly, the people... They he are. Is, 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 he just said he's Harry the greatest person he the knows. Greatest, yeah. Yes, he said Lil Baby's the greatest person, but did he say we have a personal yeah, bestie relationship? No, like, like, we're, like, real life... He has, Reggie, I'm telling you. But yeah. it's like, <laughs> you could say someone is the best person yeah. because he they asked him about Lil Baby. He's like, yeah, and then in, if I'm in an interview, I'll be like, I love Lil Baby, like... Of course, that's his response. He's not acting like he's like this real life, like best friend. They obviously he has a relationship with these people. He's a billionaire. Like, what think is that, the big but, deal? You don't think there's a power dynamic at play? That's what I'm saying. When it comes to Perfect. some of the people that he's yes. well, surrounding himself so, with, exactly. So a great example is Meek Mill. Like his relationship with Meek Mill is because I think he. I don't know if he still is. He's a co-owner of the Phillies and uh, the Phillies, the the Seventy Sixers. And like when Meek Mill got out of jail, the person who helped him the most was Michael Rubin, and he flew him to the arena. Like why? He said, uh, because they just have a good relationship. Like they work together a lot. Where did it start? Where did it stem from? Prison reform, quote unquote. Michael Rubin says that he saw Meek Mill, he needed mm-hmm. help, but we also know that Jay Z helped aid. We know Michael Rubin and Jay Z are and Robert and Kraft right? and Robert Kraft. So again, let's keep it a whole hundred. Hey man, I love football as much as the next person. Do Robert Kraft really, really, really give a fuck about niggas in jail? If we just keeping it raw, like I never knew Robert Kraft to be a Meek Mill fan before any of that shit transpired. You know what I'm saying? So again, Reggie, I hope me and Save on a I don't know. I just feel like he he has relationships with these people, and it's I'm I don't at, know. So. You said something that I liked, right? You said there are also white people that attend these that attend his event, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How much cultural cachet you think do you think that Michael Rubin receives with the pictures or the people that he posts? Do you think it's more with the people in our culture and our cultural cachet with hip hop and the culture or your favorite actor? <laughs> I think like people like Tom Cruise and Tom Brady and like and like influencers like Alex Earl for right. the Gen Z crowd. I do think that he posts pictures with them, right. and that does appeal to that crowd. We're just not paying attention to it right now. That's what I'm saying. Though. I think like that does affect. Uh, like he is getting a lot of cultural cachet from posting white people as well. That we but we just don't care. But that's, but that, name two white people you've seen him with. Uh, the Leonardo. I've seen him with DiCaprio. Another Tom one. Brady. Tom Brady. All right. But from yeah. the you party, name two. But you name two. But that's all I to, to my, now name five black people you've seen him with. I can name 500. I can name a lot, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's an imbalance. But, There's an imbalance, but, and it's on purpose. Let's not act like it's not on purpose. He's like, this is a, a, okay, a but play. Like, you just it's asked a us marketing. to name two, two and white I'm, people. Name and then five. Name, and then now name, name five. five white. I can, okay, but this is not, okay, but the, I literally just said that we're paying attention to all the black people he posts because we're like more a part of I like get that. we're looking I for get that. that. I, have like, another, I have another theory on not that. that. Not that we're just looking for it. It's also being pushed and marketed to us. It is all strategic. When we're talking about these billionaires, nothing is with accident, right? I think the only mistake yes. and the only accident that he's made thus far is going on Hot 97 because I think that interview is going to age poorly for him yeah, and he just doesn't so see it yet. He doesn't. That's the not. only mistake he's made. Yeah. But everything else that Michael Rubin has done has been perfect and calculated and strategic mm-hmm. because I'm going to align myself with hip hop. I'm going to align myself with black influential people yes. and I'm going to infiltrate this space yes. and cover it as a strategy. And how lucrative is hip hop as a... 
movies sell a ton. I'm not about to sit here and act like Leonardo DiCaprio or them other dudes are small fries, right? But if you're able to get next to the black cultural cachet and use it as your vehicle to continue to market and do things, I could definitely see it as a businessman in the play for sure. No, like yeah, you could I, see, I agree that it's yeah. a, like a strategic business. Yeah, but that's what I said. Sure. Though. I'm, I'm like, he's not acting like, yeah. oh my god, I'm this white savior that like is friends with Lil Baby and I saved. I literally said, I'm like, yes, he, of course, he has a relationship with Lil Baby, yeah. Jay Z. Like he's literally saying I'm, that. Like it's fine. I'm not gonna put any shade, right? This is not any shade because I think. What he's doing is amazing and is great. Mm -hmm. How many parties throughout the year do you think that Leonardo DiCaprio Thank you. is being invited to, as well as Drewski? Okay. None. Like just one. July four. Oh, okay. The, the cross contamination <laughs> is not by accident. Is what I'm saying. It, it feels like you're actively trying to seek that our side. <laughs> you feel what I mean? Because if, if we see him with Tom Brady, Leonardo DiCaprio, or any of them, we're not going to bat an eye. It's the moment where it looked like you start showcasing all our elites. That is like, wait, hold on. Okay, but I think... And uh, using them as the pawn, Leonardo <laughs> yeah, yeah, DiCaprio, yeah. he's not the spokesperson that you use when you want to talk about prison reform no he isn't the person that no. you go to when you want to sell tickets to the 76ers game no you know who you go to the cultural cachet in hip-hop meek mill yes okay wait i feel like we're yes we're doing the thing where like we're saying this i'm i also mm -hmm. do think he's strategically appealing to black people okay. Okay. using fucking the rappers little baby i do think he's using that but i'm yeah. saying like i don't think it's like this crazy hidden like Ultim like alternate Ulterior agenda. Motive. agenda. I do okay, see okay. that he's a billionaire trying. Oh, you're right. To Me too. Like Alex said, I Me hope too. you're right. I really hope yeah. me and Savon are chatting right now. No, I, no, like I, but I, hope so. I, I we're saying the same. I'm like, yeah. I know he's using yeah. people to appeal to the black crowd. Like right. I, I agree. Like I literally and to me, agree. if I know that, then it just comes off a bit disingenuous. Do you think the That's black? It. Do you think the black people that are there are using it strategically for themselves I, as well? Hey, I'm glad you asked I that mean, question. Going to white party is a good is a good look. Yeah, so. yeah we about to wrap, and I'm glad we ran into this real quick. For for months now, for months here, right? I didn't even know there was a video of Meek Mill bunny hopping. Yeah. Remember, you guys told me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't. That didn't happen until he started getting with that nigga. <laughs> I'm being so Meek mm -hmm. Mill didn't know them people. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna blame. You know what I mean? I'm gonna blame Meek for his actions on this. I, one. I'm yeah, definitely I saw gonna Meek and humping the ATV over I the weekend. <laughs> yeah, nah, that so, was that was. Uh, Meek yeah, gotta take nigga. a little bit of uh, accountability. Yeah, 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 I've yeah, yeah, never yeah. seen Meek and Philly bunny hopping with niggas, <laughs> but when he get around billionaire white people that again have do my, strange who might have a power dynamic on you, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Now all of a sudden you bunny hopping after a loss. I've never seen a nigga do that. Yeah, that right. shit fucked me up. Well, to be seen, <laughs> to we'll be seen, see. to be seen. Yes, TBD, yes. TBS. maybe in like ten years. Yes, yeah. good talk. TBS. Yeah, 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 to be seen. We'll see how this plays out. Um, <laughs> I miss y'all, man. God damn, yeah, it's been today, a minute. Yeah. Oh, I miss y'all, niggas. Yeah, shit, gang, gang. I know the the audience. Y'all ain't know we was taking a break and shit. Hey, we took a break. I, I, I bet y'all niggas fuck out of here. Some people knew. Some people were like, "Yo, you recording this last week?" Oh yeah, some people. Oh yeah, because Kendrick fucking Lamar dropping the video. Yeah. That, that was really a, a thorn in my side because had he not dropped the video, we would have been good on our little vacation. We would have been in the clear. We would have been covert. would have been in the clear. Yeah. With that being said, if y'all made it this far, I say it each and every single week, there is no reason that you aren't subscribed. Yeah. There is no reason that you aren't commenting, that you aren't showing your support. Again, I want to salute the silent supporters. I know oh, y'all yeah. are there. Y'all been very vocal. I know there's a few more of y'all that are really silent, but I feel like this episode was super fire. So. With that being said, please, if you're a silent supporter, let us know. Even if you don't want to comment or DM, just send a follow. Um, but even if you can't do any of that, your contribution by listening, by downloading, by keeping up with us each and every week is super, super, super appreciated. Uh, and with that being said, Alex, Reggie, anything else? Y'all good? No, I think we talked enough today. I think we did. Yeah, we talked we talk the heroes. Yeah, I yeah. think we did too. I yeah, think yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm reaching cancellation. Th we like that. No. <laughs> You're becoming I, impenetrable. No. I don't no? want to be You want to be impenetrable? My father would fuck you up for that, and so would I. Don't ever call me penetrable in your I life. I said impenetrable. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought you looked at me and said Now you got your pocket about to beat me up. Hey, I said impenetrable. I would never do hey, you like that, twin. What the fuck hey, is wrong? Yo. Come on, yeah, twin. You know me better than that. Anyway, it's been a Need to Know podcast. What you need to know, what you need to know on the Need to Know podcast. We'll be back soon. Don't forget to sign up for the Patreon. Mixer tickets are out now. Same time, same place. Need to Know podcast. We out. Peace. Peace. Okay. Okay. <laughs>